burning down to my soil. Now we'll make yellow flowers for you. Hello and welcome to Designer Inspiration. I'm Jenny Cleary and today I'm joined by the wonderful Teresa. Uh, Teresa is going to be with us today talking to us about why I won't. I want to show you the ring that Teresa has made that I've stolen. Have a look at this. Woohoo! Oh, I love it, love it, love it. Beautiful gemstones, beautiful wire work amazing techniques coming up for you today now i have got for you the wax y cone in stock you know how i love the wax y cone i am going to give you some brand new super fresh gemstones have a look at this on mother's day eve we want to know what are you up to tomorrow? How are you going to be celebrating? Uh, maybe you would like us to give your mum, maybe you're gonna be busy all day tomorrow, but you would like us to give your mum a shout out, say happy Mother's Day. Tom Fulcher would like to give Mrs. Fulcher a great big shout out to say happy Mother's Day tomorrow. Um, so if, if you would like to give your mummy a shout out, do you know what I did to my mum last week? We were, um, my mum, Mary Ann, Mary Ann Cleary, could you get any more Irish of a name than that? No. Uh, now, <laughs> uh, last week I was, we were, I told you, didn't I? We went to see my son in the Royal Albert Hall. Uh, they were going to the toilet and I was looking for my mum and I went into the toilet and I went, mum, mum, mum. And then I went, mummy. And she went, yes. <laughs> How embarrassing is that? Mummy, 34, shouting for my mum. Mummy, yes, darling. <laughs> Have a look at what else I've got you. Uh, it's all about the colour today. I tell you what, Lucy has it like tropical climates in here. Surprise, we are not all fainting. Absolutely stunning, stunning colour. Look at the matrix of this gemstone. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Deep, gorgeous greens and ambers, 130 carats. Fabulous veinings. Absolutely stunning. Coming up for you later on, and look at this agate. Beautiful coins, brand new. Poppy agate. Now, you see a little bit of druzy in here as well. Can you see that? There's some druzy accents. You've got some lovely facets. These are perfect for rings. So if you're looking to wire work ring today, uh, then this is perfect. I cannot wait to learn how to do the cluster ring. Absolutely super excited about that with Teresa a little bit later on. Now, let's kick off the show today by giving you the flush cutters. Before I do that, Teresa is in position <laughs> and I would like to say hello and good afternoon to you. Hello. How are you, Teresa? I'm fine. You did worry me for a minute then. I was looking for that ring. It's gone missing. Oh, I might have, sorry. <laughs> might have known where it had gone, might not. <laughs> it was on my finger. I went, oh, I think I'll wear that at the beginning of the show. Oh, is that where you were earlier? Yes. Yeah. Especially she was at the top of the show looking for the ring. I massively apologise. I'm a huge thief when I see something I like. <laughs> It, it goes on, it goes, goes. I am, I am Jenny, the Magpie Cleary. That's what they call me in this building. Now, Teresa, for anyone that hasn't seen you, and you and I haven't worked together uh, before, I've just looked at all your jewellery and I'm just blown away. I love the collection. Now, talk to me about um, how you came into jewellery making. How long have you been a jewellery maker for? Um, well, I, I craft. Um, I have crafted uh, since, well, I think the difference between kind of you know school art and then crafting just was a you know it's a fine line really um so part of that has been making jewelry um been making jewelry on and off since i was a teenager um really started sort of getting into it trying to kind of make a business a, a few years ago thinking about it um was using a lot of glass then came across jewelry maker um and kind of gemstones are sort of the way to go so definitely um, yeah now tell everybody how you became a guest designer on Jewelry Maker. Um, just the, the piece that was on Facebook. Um, so you applied? Us. Yep. 
You came in. Yep. We loved you. Here you are today. <laughs> yes. So, you know, it just goes to show if you submit your pieces on Facebook, you could be where Teresa is now. Now let's start today. We've got loads of wire tools for you. We've got the jig. We have got the wire twister tool. We've got the wags wire cone, which isn't a disease. It's a wonderful tool. Have a look. Have you got wags wire cone? You, you get some cream for that, you know, Martha. Have a look. Do you know the last time I bought these to you in January? They sold out back in stock for the first time in two months we've got we've only got 400 of them last time i had i think i had a couple of thousand of them we've only got 400 which sounds like a lot but it really really isn't if you want your flush cutters you need to be on the phone lines right now oh eight hundred six triple four six double five I have got absolutely stacks of you on the phone lines already. You need to check baskets out. I have got Mary, I've got Edwina, I've got Bronwyn, Linda, Pamela, Lorna, Pauline, literally hundreds of you already. Unchecked baskets, big warning for the unchecked baskets. Carol in Aberdeenshire, Denise in Suffolk, Karen in Kent, Sarah in Hampshire, Daryl in Dyfed, Elizabeth, Alison, Fiona, Tracy, Josephine, Margaret and Mari. Uh, you've all got unchecked baskets now, Nicola as well. And uh, Magdalene, you have got an unchecked basket you need to check out a basket I cannot guarantee everybody's gonna get this if you want it and you love it and you need them you've got to check out your baskets you've got to get on the phone lines 0800 6 555 there is a queue at the moment we need you to just have your debit or credit card details on the phone lines it's a free phone number you can check out your baskets online, you can shop online or the w's.jurymaker.com. Now for those that don't know what a flush cutter will do, they are essential for your wire work. They get right, right in. These ones are ergonomically designed. They've got that wonderful grip. You can see that, can't you? So if you are doing a lot of cutting, you're not gonna get your achy palm syndrome. They get right, right in there. We, every time you, they, are, they have this wonderful spring on them as well so that you know you've got that spring back. You know that you're always gonna have the right tool for the job to get right Right in and get as close to the wire work piece as you can. 25% of the stock has gone without even the price on your screens. MKBN69, your designer flush cutter flyers are all yours for an incredible price tag of just $29.95. These tools are the right tool for the job if you want to really get the professional finish. These are a jewelry maker specific tool. So you are going to get that professional finish with these flush cutters. They are absolutely wonderful in terms of quality. The blades are super duper sharp. Now you can use them with all of your wires, you don't want to use, I mean, you, they will work on your memory wire, but you don't want to do that. You want a memory wire specific uh, ones for that because they can dint. Now, um, Teresa, obviously you, you use tools like this and every single one of our guest designers bought these. Why are they so important? Um, well, I mean, for a start, the, well, I think you've got a much pr more professional job, um, much more professional finish having kind of a flat, Mm -hmm. um, end to the wire rather yeah. than kind of the pinched end um, but also I find because they're um, quite sort of narrow uh, jaws that it means you can actually get in um, to, to quite sort of tight places to cut wire off as well um, whereas the sort of the, the rounder jaws it's actually much more difficult to get in mm -hmm. if you um, particularly with wrapping wire wrap an awful lot of wire to be able to actually get in um, in there to, to cut um, so both, you know, on both counts, um, you can get into more places to cut closer. Yeah. Um, and when you do, it's a, um, a flatter, squarer kind of end um, when you're cutting it. So a more definite finish to your piece. Yeah, much nicer finish. When you're running your hand over your pieces, you don't get that spikiness. Now, approaching 200 of these have already gone. You need to act fast. £29.95. Now, have a look at the flush to these now like i said they're very sharp here's the flush every single time one of our guest designers use these we get we get people coming in saying where do i get them from uh, now fifo 
says, who, uh, um, let's have a look. Excellent tool, just uh, like it was advertised. That's from Kay. Uh, we have got such wonderful customer feedback. Linda in County Durham says, uh, I love them. I wish I'd known about them before. They make a huge difference. The beginner tools are great for beginners. Now, if you're ready, you want to be producing those outstanding pieces. Your results have to be professional. You need these. Let me talk you around the handle as well because they fit beautifully into the palm of your hand and you can see how wonderful they are because they've got that spring back. They're going to make such a huge difference to the finish of your piece when you run your hand across any of your wire work you will not get those little nicks you will not get on the back if you take a pendant like this for instance if you need to snip a bit of that but you really it's close to the skin you don't want to get scratching you don't want your customers returning your piece let's look at the back of this pendant have a look now, if there was any scratchy pieces of wire, they would be very evident from me running my finger across just like that. Now, these flush cutter pliers are essential for taking any, to, for just eliminating the risk of having any little bits poking out, any little bits, maybe a, um, some earrings that are going to sit closely to the neckline. If they nick, you won't wear them. You know, it takes that away. £29.95, pence. MKBN69. Let me just give you a big hand. Wendy in Gloucester's bought two of these. I'm seeing quite a few multi buyers. Alison in Flintshire, you've bought two of these as well. Well done. Maybe you just can't bear to be without them. Maybe you know your best friend has wanted these and you know they've gone out today or they're not watching for some reason today get them remember you've got a 30-day money-back guarantee on absolutely everything that you buy from us here at jewelry maker ellen in scottish highlands julie in merseyside margaret beverly another margaret in cornwall uh, karen allison and an another margaret uh, cynthia you need one margaret in lancashire one in merseyside you need to check your basket out or you are going to miss out that number, I know there's a queue on the phone lines. I am so sorry about that, but it is a free phone number. Stay where you are. Terry, you've got yours. Jennifer, you've got yours. Eleanor, Madeline, Susan, Kerry, Hilary, Sylvia, Ralph, Michelle. I have got Janet, Miranda, Sheila, Alberta, uh, Liana, Tracy, Elizabeth, Peter, and Sylvia. Susan in Nottinghamshire, Marie in West Midlands, Helen in Essex, Jan in Leicestershire, Isabel. Wendy's checked out, Cynthia's checked out, well done. Now there are still a few of these available. We are going to give you some more wire work uh, bundles. We've got some DVDs to give to you as well. A couple of these still available if you want them. I do believe very strongly, and if history repeats itself, these will sell out today. So don't leave it to chance. I will keep the details on the bottom of the screen for you. Uh, how many do we, do we have left? Okay, so we've got 200 left. Half of the stock, just over half of the stock actually, has been allocated. If the unchecked baskets are anything to go by and the people in the queues, we are now approaching limited quantity of these. And like I said, if history repeats itself, these will sell out. Now, my darlings, let's give to you your DVDs. Now, I've got for you Wirework Edition 4. I've got three DVDs to give to you. Now, the great thing about our DVDs is that they give you that one-on-one -on -one tutorial. How much have you ever paid for a download? You can download online for, have you ever downloaded before, Teresa? Um, I, I haven't paid to download, no. I, <laughs> I'm just a bit tight like that. I think. You're tight like that. But do you, do you know what <laughs> I did just for research? Do you know what happened to me? I clogged up the whole computer. And now, I, I, if, you, if anybody that knows me knows that I don't know my way around a computer at all. Control Alt Delete is about my limit. I am rubbish with computers. Uh, my daughter, thankfully, who's 13, knows what she's doing. I haven't got a clue. I don't know. I don't know anything. Now, I tried to download it. It jammed my computer. It took two hours to download, and then I couldn't do it. And I paid 19.95 for that download. I don't know where it is. It's lost somewhere, somewhere. I don't know. Now. I'm going to give you an hour on each DVD. That's three hours in total. Now, the Wirework Edition 4 shows the butterfly pendant, a feature cuff. You've got the weave earrings and the ear cuff. You've got 
you have got Laura Binding, then I'm going to give to you Rachel Norris and Gemma Crow, the ant and deck of, of Jewelry Maker. They are just such incredible ladies. Royalty, as far as I'm concerned, here. Wonderful Rachel Norris, an award-winning designer. Her pieces are displayed in the Victoria and Albert Museum. She's had a documentary made up that's gone out on terrestrial TV. The lady is a genius when it comes to design. She's just super inspiring. Gemma Crow, who just blows us away every time she comes on air. Her designs are fresh, they're quirky, they're out there, they're wearable, they're catwalk, they're different. So what a wonderful duo, the dynamic duo. I give to you Rachel's heart pendant, which you see on, um, on the front of the DVD here. I've got Gemma's heart necklace and I have got Gemma's owl motif as well. Now, so many of you have enjoyed this DVD. So many of you have sent in Wall of Fame entries, uh, being inspired by this DVD. It's just wonderful. I love the new design, by the way, don't you, on our, uh, on our DVD covers. And then I've got, now this one, is essential. Gemma Crow's fabulous findings. You need this DVD if you want to be able to make your own chain, make your own fasteners. You know what? You need this DVD if you want to be able to create your own, and this is really important because so many people ask us, your own stud earring. It's on here. Gemma Crow, have a look at a little snippet of the genius that is Gemma Crow. There she is with the Vicky car, making your own earring findings. Look at that, using the gizmo. We've got the gizmo coming up, using the wax Y cone there. We've got the wax Y cone coming up for you. We've got the ring mandrel coming up for you later on as well. The mandrel is essential. Making your own T-bar clasps, making your own pins. Like I said, look at that chain, it's gorgeous, isn't it? Making your own stud earring. You can learn it all in Gemma's Fabulous Findings DVD. So I have for you your motives. I have for you your wire work edition for Laura Binding. And I have for you your fabulous findings. Now these are ordinarily $4.95 each, making the whole collection $14.85. For three hours of uninterrupted design inspiration, that is already an amazing price. How much have you seen one DVD in a craft shop for? I'm giving you three for the fantastic price tag. Buy one, get two for free. That's not something we hear very often. Buy one, get two free. If you've got one of these, but you haven't got two of them, it's worth it. Give the other one to somebody for a, a gift, maybe. Be inspired, four pounds and 95 pence. We give to you Rachel Norris, Gemma Crow, and the wonderful, beautiful, Laura Binding as well. GLG C05, these are very, very popular. Really, really seeing so many of you grabbing this. Check out your baskets. Karen, Carol, Maxine, Tracy and Margaret have got theirs. Christine's got hers. Lynn's got hers. Joanna spelt uh, the Jewish way. I love that uh, in Essex, well done. Uh, Maria, Alex, Jane, uh, I've got Fiona. I've got Verilyn, I've got Paula. I've got Jane and Julie. I've got Julian Powis and I've got another Julie as well. Um, I don't know where she's from though. Susan in Nottinghamshire, Karen, you've got yours. Lizzie, hello to you from Somerset. VH is uh, shopping. Kerry, well done to you. I've got absolutely loads of you on the phone lines. This deal again is phenomenal. I'm talking about extremely wonderful value here at £4.95. GLG C05, the Wirework DVD collection. Give us a tinkle, 0800 644 655 is a free phone number if you're dialing from a UK landline. Willow in Cardiff, I love that name. June in Merseyside, hello to you. We've got a cheeky text from Lynn. Lynn is saying, thanks Jenny uh, for selling the pliers first. I've been waiting for ages for them. I'm looking forward to the afternoon with you, uh, Teresa and the team, love Lynn. Lynn, we're looking forward to you being here. We, we need your interaction. If anybody would like to give their mummies a shout out ready for tomorrow, perhaps you're gonna be busy tomorrow, then do so, Give your, quickly ring your mum and tell her to tune in. Uh, Cindy in Suffolk says, hi uh, Jenny, my eight-year-old daughter Emily said, 
that dress looks good on Jenny. Bless your little heart. Uh, Emily, how lovely. Emily, I bet you're looking beautiful today too. Um, she also said, more of Mike, please. <laughs> Where is Mike? Where is Mike? Well, you know what? If Emily wishes for it, then we shall give it to her. Uh, Mike, are you there? We will bring Mike out momentarily for you, Emily. I like Mike too. He's a nice sort, isn't he? Four pounds and 95 pence. He's coming. Mikey! Mikey! Come on, Mikey! Come on! Come on! Hello! I love you, Mikey. I know he's not a dog. I don't know why. Hello! hello. Emily wants you to say hello. Say hello, hello to Emily. Emily. Emily's Hi. only eight. Oh, well, it's nice that you're tuning in to, to watch the show and uh, appreciate the... The, the growing fan base, I guess. I love it. I love it. it uh, signed photo. Signed photo. I don't think people really want it. If they ask the world wants honestly. Mikey. The world, do we want Mikey? Mikey posters, Mikey pencils, Mikey toothbrushes. Okay. You kiss him. Okay. Kiss him on the forehead. I'll get my lipstick on your head. Mm. There you go. Okay. Off you go. Goodbye, everyone. Thanks. He tastes of biscuits, in case anybody wants to know. <laughs> Have you been at them custard creams, Mikey? Tastes a bit biscuity. Four pounds, 95 pence. Do you know, my producer's in my ear going, kiss him, kiss him, kiss him. I don't kiss on demand, Martha. There's a word for that, GLG C05. We must all kiss Mikey, it's true. There should be a mistletoe everywhere. Now, now I'm gonna give to you. Now the pliers, um, I know you're gonna be asking, we still got stock of those, Martha? Not a lot, but we have got some left. Get yourself on the phone lines for them. Now, ooh, 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 ooh. Now, let me just talk to you about something important. I think so many of you now are thinking about getting your things valued, your pieces valued. And actually, let's, let's take a look at this beautiful pendant right here. Have a look. Now, we've got peridot in here, rose quartz in here, it's beautiful, isn't it? Please don't forget that the gemstones you're using are outstanding quality. They, we're talking about real gemstones here at Jewelry Maker, and this is something that I actually think we here get complacent about. And actually, when we get, when we get lots of new people coming in, lots of new staff coming in, like, oh my gosh, is that really real peridot? I thought it was just peridot colour. Oh my gosh, is, are those real diamonds? Are those real sapphires? They're real. The thing about Jewelry Maker, we are so passionate about the fact that we give you genuine gemstones. It's so important that we don't get too complacent about that. When we get them home, don't think, oh, yep, sapphires, I only paid $16.95 for them. Go and get them valued. Go and get your pearls valued. Go and get your pieces valued. Now, if you want to do that, or if you want to create pieces for the bride, for your mum on Mother's Day, for your best friend, for your daughter on her wedding day, uh, you know, for your sister, it could be anybody special to you or your partner. You know what? You want to use precious metals, don't you? I'm going to give you three different reels. Now, the reason these come um, bunched up like this is to keep them from kinking in transit. I'm going to give you three different gauges. Now, this is a very special bundle. You get a meter of each, 0 0.4, 0 0.6 and 0 0.8. Now this is the 0 0.6. Now let me just tell you, it's super malleable. The 0 0.8 is there. And then I'm gonna give you the 0 0.4 as well. Now you could create an entire ring, a little bit like the one that I'm wearing now. Maybe you've just bought the DVDs. Maybe you want to do a really special pendant. Maybe you got one of our Gems of Distinction strands. Did you get the sapphires yesterday? Have you got any tanzanite in your collection? Do you use those beautiful big white pearls that we gave you yesterday as well? You know, if you have these kinds of gemstones in your possession, treat them like the royalty that they really are and wrap them up in precious metals. Have a look at what I've got for you. Get yourself on the phone. Please remember that if you have already opened a basket with us, which so many of you have today, you will not pay any more than once for the PMP, no matter how heavy your basket gets. So Teresa, you 
are a wire work expert. Your passion is wire work. You love the fact that you can get real gemstones from us here at Jewelry Maker. Talk to me about when there is a cause, when there is a need for precious metals. Um, if, if, I, if I could, I'd probably put everything um, in precious metals. Um, I think certainly um, the gems of distinction strands that we're using today um, deserve precious metals. Um, and actually the ring that you're wearing is 0.8 and 0.4 wire. Perfect, um, so I can do the same design. Yeah. Um, I mean, a lot of what I do, um, I, uh, as you'll see later on, um, I tend to sort of start off with quite long pieces of wire because I don't know where it's going to go. So, you know, I start longer and then I've got the choice to use it or chop it off. So what you can actually do, measure what you've used, use it in um, the plated wire or the coloured wire, um, and then you know how much you need, you can use um, the, the precious metal for. Do you know, I just think, Teresa, to be able to have elements like this, I mean, where else do we get it from? How expensive is it to be buying real gold and silver online where sometimes the price can fluctuate? Sometimes you just can't get hold of it. Sometimes you're buying it from overseas and then you have to pay import tax. I am going to give to you three meters. Now this is first come, first serve. We've only got 30 of these and I know there's so many of you shopping today. If you were shopping for, do you know what? It's incredible value. I'm going to take that price tag, but let's just think about what we've got for our money here. Incredible value, 23.85 for three meters of precious metal. That is incredible. Where else would you get that? Real silver, real nine carat gold. I promise you, the real deal, genuine precious metals in your collection. I'm going to take that price tag down hugely. The value you're about to see is going to knock your Saturday socks off. SVG C30, 14.95, less than five pounds a metre. Where can you get, and, and if you're paying by the inch, you tell me, how much do you pay by the inch? I'm paying, we're paying by the metre here. You've got three metres for less than five pounds each. How much is an inch? If you go to the jewellery quarter, you tell me, 14.95, I want to hear your text messages. I want to hear your stories. Look at everybody, there's only 30 of these. These will sell out, I think. 806, 644, Half the stock gone, loads of unchecked baskets. You must check out your baskets. Janet, Manjeet, Jane. I want to see multi-buyers on this, because Lola in London, Carol, Christine. I've got Elise, I've got Marina. What's some beautiful names today? Lynn and the gorgeous Hillary and Richard. I've got Jane, right, 70% of the stock has gone. Johanna in Essex, I've got Maxine, I've got more I've got Janet, uncheck baskets, Olive, Elizabeth, Vanessa, check out your baskets, Maureen in capitals, you're shopping in capitals, Maggie, uh, Susan in Sussex and Norfolk, you must check your baskets out, Julie and Devon, uh, no, we've only got 10% of the stock remaining, we are very busy today, it's a beautiful day to be jewellery making, three metres, three metres for under five pounds each, gone, sold out, good grief. Penfold. Now, uh, we're going to have a look at the nippers, are we? Flush cutters, the little flush cutters. Right, we have got limited stock of these are remaining. Uh, so if you want them, if you've just tuned in, if you were scoffing Asani and thinking, right, I'll go, I'll go and get them. We gave you the flush cutters. We gave them to you. We don't have loads already. Already well over 170 of these have already gone. We have limited amounts of these remaining. Sorry, no way. What was that? What was I saying? No, we had 400 of them, didn't we? Oh my gosh, very limited amounts of these left. Very limited. We've only got about a quarter of the stock remaining of these. 29.95. Doing me bad maths then, knowing. Uh, will, Teresa, will these produce a better piece, essentially? Yes. <laughs> there we go. You heard it. From, yes, quite yes. simply, yes. You need these because you're going to get right in. Flush cutters will get right into that wire work. Now it's about the end of these, Teresa, as well, isn't it? About the tip here yeah. as well, being able to nip in. Now they don't have that well that a lot of the, and some of ours have. These are different because they really are gonna get that fl as flush as they can. Yeah. yeah, so it just means, you know, you can get right in there. Um, it's flush to the, the work that you're, um, you're working on it looks more professional and um, yeah, it won't catch you, so yeah. So these are the tools you need if you want perfect wire work. They're 29.95. Let me give you a little glimpse 
of the gorgeous kit coming up for you. Let's actually, let's have a look at the jewellery because I know you're going to want to see what you're going to make with it first and foremost. The, it, I've stolen the ring. There was panic in the disco earlier because I stole this ring. Panic at the disco, murder on the dance floor. Have a look. Have a look at the wonderful, wonderful designs that Teresa is about to bring to you. If you love it, if you're already thinking, need, 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 if you've got any messages for us, send them through. We want your interaction today. We love your interaction. Don't forget to check out your basket, especially if you've got the flush cutters in. I'm sorry that the uh, precious metal's gone, sold out. A lot of what I've given you now, gone, sold out. Flush cutters need them. Check out your basket. I'll be right on back with the gorgeous Teresa after this. Keep shopping. The fastest way to shop with Jewelry Maker is by going to our website. Just click on the sign up button. Once you've filled in the required details, you can start shopping. You can watch the show by clicking the Watch Live button on the front page. You can also use our Refine tool and narrow down your search. Once you've found an item that you like, just simply click on the Buy Now button and the item will be added to your basket. Don't forget you can add as many items to your basket per day and still only pay one p and Enjoy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Join Jewelry Maker this Mother's Day for some great offers, exciting new strands and a game of Guess Who? Mother's Day on Jewelry Maker. Join Jewelry Maker and specialist guest designer Louise Jacobson for our basic wirework course. This class is suitable for complete beginners who wish to learn simple wire wrapping techniques to create stunning structural designs. Louise will teach you all the essential skills to get started, including basic spirals, double connectors and much, much more. The full course includes a range of different wire gauges, a bead scoop, use of all relevant tools, a buffet-style lunch and refreshments, a tour of the studios, a chance to meet the presenters and a visit to our Gemstone Museum. All of this for just $69.95. For more information, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. Jewellery Maker, bringing out the designer in you. Uh, it's the Why Work for Beginners course that I'm on today with Louise. I've thoroughly enjoyed myself. It's been a wonderful course, uh, starting from very basics. Every question that uh, we had for Louise, she's answered, and it's been a marvellous um, uh, education in learning to do things with wire work. Jewelry Maker course gift vouchers are now available. You can choose from a bronze, silver or gold voucher. Each voucher is worth a different amount that entitles you to put towards a course of your choice. For more information, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. Welcome back. Remember, the flush cutters are really close to a sellout today. Uh, and if history repeats itself, the flush cutters will sell out. If you've just tuned in, we've got the flush cutters. They're $29.95. Teresa's just said to me, can I have those, please? And I went, all right, then. <laughs> just give she went, I can't do what I've got to do without them. And I can't find mine. I've left them at home. I need them. Now, uh, I'm going to give to you the opportunity to grab the essential items to make this beautiful ring amongst so many other pieces. Look at that, it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Design your inspiration with Teresa, Silvery Moon. Now, one of my absolute, in fact, can I just say, three strands of my absolute favorites 
I adore peridot. I love the colour. It's my daughter Mia's birthstone, so I want to wear it all the time. It's my partner's birthstone. It's my dad's birthstone. You know, I actually think you've got to get as many birth gemstones in your collections. Because actually, if you're creating pieces, let's say, for instance, you've just created a Mother's Day piece. Well, actually, I think, you know, things like that, your mum wants to wear your birth gemstones as much as she wants to wear her own. So making a whole family tree of gemstones, maybe, and give to, maybe you've got brothers and sisters, you want to put all of your gemstones all of everybody in the family in that piece maybe it's a circle of friends and you want to make a, a friendship piece put everybody's birth gemstones in there I'm gonna give to you also birth gemstone of March in this wonderful aquamarine strand you've also got beautiful morganite in here isn't this be the beryl all stars are really stunning and what I love about this strand is the cut and the fact that they are drilled at the Kool-Aid which means we can make Put, we can make them stand perfectly. Look at how Teresa's put them in the ring. And they stand to attention because of the way they're drilled. They're drilled at the coulée of the gemstone, right at the bottom, right at the tip. So it allows for you to stand them proud in tiaras and fascinators in earrings. We're going to see so many examples of this with Teresa's jewellery in just a tick. Now, this really is a stunning strand. And because it's graduated, you can make matching sets, the earrings that match the necklace, that matches the, the bracelet. You can make a whole entire set. If you're doing bridal pieces, perhaps you can make matching cufflinks with the larger ones as well for the groom. Now let's have a look because we've got your favourite gemstone for two consecutive years, Labradorite or Labradoodledite as it's also known in my, in my vocab look at this labrador essence now the labrador essence here is very 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 striking very strong in this gemstone i just adore this collection already for the gemstones alone i need it but i'm not just going to give you the gemstones you're literally going to have everything you need to create the entire collection now let's talk about how much you would charge just for this ring how much money would you think for this ring alone, very gemstone heavy with the peridot, aquamarine and morganite all in one. What do you think? 40 pounds? It's got all that peridot. Tell me how much, text in, how much would you pay for something like this? Because we've got minimal amount of gemstones actually in here. A lot of skill, yes, we're going to see that uh, in a sec. Text us live in, how much would you pay for each individual piece? And then let's start writing it down. Let's start thinking about making profits, maybe maybe you make jewellery like I do I don't sell my jewellery I give it to my friends my sister takes a lot of it my daughter absolutely takes those sometimes my son will even take a Shambhala bracelet now you know what if, if I thought to myself you know what so many people say make me this for that oh can you get me why don't you start doing something like a jewellery party it's such a good idea you get all your friends around usually wine sometimes cheese and jewellery perfect night to me perfect night in now if you want to start selling your jewelry think about the gemstones that you're getting in think about actually feeling proud about the gemstones you're using as well now if you want to create what Teresa has created I'm going to also give you 0.4 wire you're going to get 100 meters of that now you're also going to get 0.8 wire which is wonderful because 0.8 is your structure it's your muscles but it's also got some give it's malleable you can use this on your wire twister. You can use both on your wire twister tool. And actually, Teresa has used the wire twister. And guess what? I'm going to give you your wire twister, the smaller wire twister, coming up for you later on the portable one. Brilliant tool, that is. One of our biggest sellers. And you're also going to get your 0.25 wire. Now, 0.25 wire is wonderful if you're using tiny gemstones, <laughs> if you're using intricate gems of distinction. If you want to do the um, tiara twist, that's what you want 0.25 for. It will also do a weave. You can create crochet with 0.25 you can use it on your bead loom if you want some and we had the bead loom yesterday it was so popular if you've got that you might want some more 0.25 so let's talk you've got the gemstones three wonderful strands boasting a lot of carrot weight and you've got gemstones that people are already very aware of peridot is a household name isn't it peridot beautiful peridot was one of Cleopatra's favorite gemstones along with emerald peridot was found on Mars by NASA peridot holds a, a long history with the Aztecs and the Egyptians and then you've got that beautiful beryl it's so pretty and labradorite so these are some of our absolute favorites I am thinking if you've got the bead loom you need this as well 
30 carats in the Labradorite, 80 carats in your Beryl, and you have got, let me see, 110 carats in your Peridot, huge carat weight, EXG C60. So if you were paying, if you were putting these items individually in the basket on jewelrymaker.com, everything in separately, you pay 51.70. When you think about the content of your basket, that's wonderful value. But you know that by shopping with us here in the daytime, on Mother's Day Eve, we're going to take that price tag down for you. 0800 644 is the number you need to be dialing. At 34.95, you are seeing another sensational deal. Have you got an open basket? Did you get the flush cutter pliers? Or did you just tune in? Did I say flush cutter pliers? I blinking did. Make sure you've got them in your basket. Uh, your flush cutter pliers are on the bottom of your screen right now. £34.95 for... Teresa's Silvery Moon, I love this kit. I'm gonna just, oh, half the stock's gone of this one. You've gotta be quick, let's get on over. Trot. <laughs> oh, chair! <laughs> <laughs> Hello, I'm gonna sit today because you're sitting. So I think maybe I'll sit too. Uh, now, Teresa, I love your collection. I think it's absolutely stunning. Thank you. I've never worked with you before. So when I came down today, I didn't know what to expect because I've never seen I'd never seen any of your pieces before. So I'm I've just got to say I'm absolutely blown away. I've already stolen from you. So that's <laughs> that's a good thing. Now have a look. Have a look. I've made my mark. Have a look at Teresa's jewelry. And if you like me haven't seen any of Teresa's I'm in love. I'm in love with that. Teresa it's subtle. Um what, talk, talk to me about the inspiration behind the colours and the designs. Um, well, it's quite funny um, in terms of the the gemstones. I will I will fess up. Um, fess up. When, fess up. <laughs> well, when I first got them, um, I, I knew I was getting the um, the multi barrel strand. Yeah. Um, I had an idea I was getting the labradorite, so I kind of pick, picked them out. I thought, oh yeah, that you know nice pastel kind of colours. Um, and then I got the peridot. It's like, wow, that's a bit overpowering. Is I it, love it. Is it actually going favorite. to work together? Um, so the main piece. That's the reason why they're all kind of separate just in oh, case I, love that. I kind of built it up as I went along um, now you've used the peridot here in yeah. the chain so it's a subtle addition now this chain I don't think I've seen that kind of link before so I'm really excited to see if we get really close to the link I'm really excited to see how you did that I think it's so pretty and it looks so elegant it's very boutique is this kit now let me just tell uh, Sarah and Pam Janice and Catherine you've got unchecked baskets you could miss out on this uh, now have a look at the next pendant that Teresa, Teresa has done. You, it's <laughs> Teresa, sorry. I know you're Teresa. Have a look. Have a look at that. It's so gorgeous. I love your wire work. I'm so in love with the earrings. I cannot tell you. Have a look. Have a look at the earrings here. Absolutely stunning. You've got pink morganite in there. Look at that. Look at that. And then look, another ring. We've got so many. Oh, that I love that Peridot bracelet. <gasps> this is all so stealable. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. We've got another text message before we get going. And please remember that Teresa's here to take your questions as well. Uh, now, Josephine, gorgeous Josephine. Hi, Jenny. Favourite presenter, Teresa. Oh, thank you. Uh, I'll pay you later. Pay you later. <laughs> it's not my mum, no. Uh, I love Teresa's wire work and follow the designs as I uh, record all the programmes. Morganite, too, my favourite. Hurrah. I know it's beautiful. That beryl is absolutely gorgeous. Of course, Morganite is from the beryl family. Uh, now, I've got, um, I've got so many of you sending messages in. Please keep them coming. Uh, we will relay your questions. Of course, to Teresa, you do need to check out baskets. Uh, let me show you. Let me show you the barrel strand, and I'll show you that morganite. Just in case you're thinking, where's the morganite? Where? It's on the barrel strand because obviously morganite is from the barrel family. Have a look at the pinks. Gorgeous. Okay, we've only got 20% of the stock, so you know what? Let's crack on. <laughs> uh, now, you are going to be using the flush cutters in this. We do still have a few of those left. 29 95 If you need them, then you've got to check out your basket <laughs> for them. Okay, so which one are we going to do first? Um, we'll start with um, with this one, where I kind of separated everything out. Um, I should say I, I had separated them out on this one, and then the others, I did put them all together. It does work because... When you've got it, when you've got all the peridot together mm. in a strand, yes, it does look quite quite bright. When you separate them up individually, oh, um, it does actually tone down quite a bit. So they actually, do the ring is a proof of that. Yeah. It's, Teresa, sorry, yeah. I talked over the top of you then. Uh, have a look. The ring is proof of that. It's just so beautiful. I really, I'd, I'd put peridot with anything I would because I love it so much. Now, um, yep. 
where do we start at what do I need in fact for the very for this very right. design well for this pendant we're using all three of the wires and all three of the gemstones actually. okay so you just need so <laughs> the entire kit well the pendant itself has got two of them but then okay. the, the necklace has got the others um so I started uh, really breaking up the uh, the barrel strand um deciding which ones I wanted to, to use um, I want because it's graduated I wanted the graduations in size but also you can pick out if you wanted all the the morganite you could pick all of those out if you wanted um, two of those and some of the others you could do that so it's entirely up to you play around with the the colors um, and the designs um, so all I've got on my board here um, is you can't see them very well because this is the wrong color really um, there but, we go we're um, good yeah. so we've got um, Bit of the aquamarine, um, bit of is it goshenite, the sort of white. You've got one? well, actually, that that is aquamarine, aquamarine as well. Yeah, it's a, yeah, it's a different shade. There's a, you get quite a lot of shades of aquamarine. Yeah. They're very pretty. You've got a bit of heliodor in there with the yeah. yellows. Got morganite, heliodor, and then a little bit more aquamarine up at the top there, just because that was what I'd got. Um, and that's sort of the the general kind of gist of where they're going to be. So you can play around, decide which colours you want, um, which ones you want to use, um, and then you, you're good to go with those. Um, the bottom ones on a bit of wire because I've, re I've pre threaded some bits and pieces um, and then the other thing to mention um, is that this does start off looking really complicated there's a lot of bits of wire because you're actually going in three directions at the same time basically um, to put it together so what I thought I'd do is just kind of lay them out first to say these are the bits of wire that where they're going to kind of end up um, is basically something like that. So we've got a bit of the uh, 0.8 at the bottom. Um, I use 20 to 30 centimetres, as I say, I tend to use more than I need. Um, and then if I decide to do something fancy at the top, I can do. Um, then the uh, gemstones are on the 0.4, mm -hmm. um, oh, which are just kind of stuck. Um, and I've, yeah, I've just pre threaded some Labradorite and some uh, Aquamarine on that one. Now, just to let everybody know that, unfortunately, this kit has sold out. It's gone. Very. I love it. I knew it would. I knew it would. I told you earlier I love this. I said, I know. I bet you it's going to sell out. That means I can keep the ring. <laughs> you will love it as well. Yeah. Oh, you're going to adore it. I love it. Now, uh, you've twisted this, the, this um, one here. We do have the wire yeah. twister. Uh, when it comes to that point, I will uh, maybe give you the wire twister on there as well. So, yeah. okay, we've threaded how many of the... Or did you go by um, inch or I, did you go by I eye? think I have got actually about 12 on there, but I did start off with more. 12 on each side? Yeah, or it doesn't actually matter because you're not doing anything with the ends. You could thread Take more them on. Off all, oh, right, um, okay. It just, it's easier to hold them there than muck about and then, you know, you thread it and then it falls off. And right. So what I've done is just threaded them on and then just looped and, and tied the ends so they're not falling off anywhere as I'm going. Okay. Um, and then I can concentrate on weaving rather than, um, than putting on gemstones. Um, so my bottom stone, um, my aquamarine's in the middle and then the labradorite. Um, then I've got another two bits of the 0.8 wire um, that will be coming along um, the side of, of the bottom one with the Labradorite um, and then also going upwards. Um, all will become clear as I, I go. Um, and then the twisted wire is in the middle um, of, of the, the, uh, the bit going upwards. Um, and that's 0.4 wire, two bits of 0.4 wire twisted um, with the wire twister tool. Okay, we're gonna give you that wire twister tool. It'll come up on your screen momentarily. Unfortunately, our, uh, we have got the flush cutter pliers on for you now, and you are going to be using those, aren't you, uh, with this I'll design? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just thinking, when can I cut? <laughs> yeah. okay, I can't, oh, I need to cut. You can wait to get those. As soon as there was a break, she was like, can I have those, please? Uh, now, your wire twister tool is coming up on the screen. Let me just show you. We don't have a lot of stock of this, and I know it's very popular. Did you use the smaller wire twister? Did you use this one? Um, I did, yes. I've just got the um, <gasps> the, large the, the wire twisting pliers, um, so I didn't have them at the time. Um, I tend to use this one for the uh, the 0.4 and the 0.25. Well, it's twists. very easy. Yeah. It's very portable. Now, it has five holes, so you can twist five wires at a time, up to a one a one mil. Now, it's super duper 
brilliant. It's one of our biggest selling tools of all time. And it is in Sheila's collection. It is in Gemma's collection. It's in Rachel Norris's collection. I know so many of our designers have this and swear by it. You simply thread on. I think we've got a little bit of a demonstration on this actually. So let me just show you how you use it. You just simply thread on. And a few different people anchor their wire in different ways. So as long as you anchor it at the point, then, then that's, the, that's the main thing. So you've got up to five wires that you need to anchor there. You just push them through, give them a twist over or a hook over. Uh, now you might do this a different way or you might, you, you know, as long as you anchor it on, it's fine. So you go all the way up to your five strands. Now this could not be any simpler. You just assemble it by unscrewing and screwing on when you get this home. So put all five wires on. There we go, there they are. And now all you've got to do is twist. You, uh, you give them an anchor at the end, of course. You, now you could put these, ask someone to hold them, or you can put them around a doorknob is what I do. Yeah, I've got a nice little cupboard door knob that I tend to use. Yeah, it's all, the kitchen door, <laughs> the kitchen door is definitely uh, where I put mine. Just uh, pop it over the doorknob or anything with a hook. Right now, all you've got to do is twist. This could not be easier. You know, like the old fashioned coffee grinders, you just twist. This is being done very slowly for the purpose of demonstration, so you can see. Uh, but actually, all Hannah's doing here, this is Hannah Osborne, is just twist, 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 twisting. Have a look. Have a look. Half the stock's already gone, I'm afraid. T-A-Z-X-65. Uh, now, you can twist this and make something super intricate. You just snip off now. Let's have a look, indeed. Now you can hammer that. You can make it into a uh, you can make it into a ring. Let's have a look. The neatness of the twist is what it's all about. And you can actually gizmo coil <laughs> twisted wire as well. It makes a great chain. It's a great effect. Could you live without yours, Teresa? No, no. Um, and that one is um, well, it's it's a uh, two strands of um, 0.4 twisted, mm -hmm. um, and then that's used. The, the twisted wire is then twisted again with oh, yes. two bits of eight mil. Oh, and you've got such intricacy. Have a look at that. Isn't it fantastic? And, and that was all done on the, the wire twister tool as well. All with this yeah. one. And we're going to give you such a wonderful price tag for this. You'd think that this would be an expensive tool. It really, really isn't. It's only £8.45. What can you get for under £10? It's going to make such a dramatic difference to your jewellery. So many of you, thank you so much for shopping with us today. We love we love our jewellery makers so much, so please make sure you are sending us in your messages. Don't you just love Teresa's designs today? Aren't they absolutely gorgeous? I'm so sorry we sold out so quickly and that we didn't have more. It what it is Today is definitely see it, want it, buy it quickly before it goes. So many of you are shopping with us today. T-A-Z-X-65 is your item code. If you love your wire twister tool, we all love our wire twister tool. Get twisting. <laughs> We've got a few reviews to show you, and then we will crack on uh, with the demo. We've got a few of those to show you. Oh, A up, A up, A up. Here we go. Oh, A up, A up. Here we are. Oh, no, A up. <laughs> <laughs> There's so, so many people buying. Yeah, but that is what, that's exactly, you just said the same as my producer Martha there. Too many people. Uh, here we go. Um, a magic tool for twisting wire together from Frederick in Lincolnshire. Thank you, Frederick, for being twisting-tastic. Uh, fab tool, so easy to use, helps to give extra dimension to my work, makes my wife work, my, my wire work, <laughs> not my wife work. This will not make your wife work. Nothing's going to do that. Uh, <laughs> Um, it's uh, really professional, it's just what I needed. Brilliant, says Anonymous in Greater Manchester. Um, Linda in Hertfordshire, it's a good place to live. <laughs> OMG, <laughs> it's amazing. I have to keep hubby's hands off it. Uh, yeah, hubby, it's not for you. Uh, one more from Diane in the city of Bristol, who says, brilliant tool and excellent price. Hours of twisting fun. We all like a twist, don't we? Now, let's let's get on with it, shall we? Should we get on with it? <laughs> it's gonna sell out. We've only got 20% left. Oh, it's gone, has it? Sold out, has it, my love? Oh, no. Oh, no, I, I've got 20 left, sorry. And I've got Faye, Andrea, Rachel, Kelly, new uh, jewelry maker, Tracy in Cornwall, another new jewelry maker with unchecked buttons. You're gonna miss out to a telephone caller. Uh, now, don't do that, quickly check out. 
Okay, let's, should we get on, shall we? <laughs> shall let's we get on, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, um, I have to admit, I put this together and then thought, I don't know how I'm going to demonstrate this, so I'll do my best. We'll it, ad lib it then. It does sort of look a little bit complicated no, for quite would you a while. Like it this does come together. So that you can. Um, it might be worth just kind of um, that, referring to where I am. I'm obviously that. right at the bottom at the moment with um, what is. Uh, oh, okay, I see. Yeah, yellow, all right. It's easier now there. we see that in front um, of us. It's, it's blue on this one, sorry, I just kind of had different colours to, to work with, I was mixing it all a bit. Well actually that's the nice thing, your colours might differ, it's about the gra the grading on this yeah. isn't it, so uh, that's what we're talking yeah. about, going with graduation. What you want. Yeah, uh, so and you could pick scheme, all the yeah. kind of the whiter ones and the, and the, um, the Morganite if you just wanted a, a pinker version, um, I just like mixing them all up together so that's why I, I did that. Um, so your bottom wire, um, the point eight, um, Round about 20, 30 centimetres. Um, I'm just going to um, wrap on some of the 0.25. Um, literally just kind of putting it around. Um, I did use um, a full wingspan um, of a that wingspan? one. A wingspan, I yeah, like that. Uh, the full, full wingspan, so it's about a metre and a half. Okay, um, not an eagle's wing, <laughs> a human wing. So, um, yeah, it's just how I tend to measure things. That's, that's how much I need. I know it's a metre and a half, so that's fine. Um, so, um, just gonna wind that on in the center there. Um, just anchors it on and gets it in the right place um, for starting, because this wire is gonna sit behind that uh, aquamarine. So I'm using a small bit to, to demonstrate. Hopefully, hopefully I've got enough. I just kind of cut it off because I thought I don't want to be pinging it around. Um, the 0.25 does have a little bit of a life of its own. It does like to kind of um, ping around, but um, it is fine. So there we've got um, just a little coil twisted onto the 0.8 wire with the, uh, the 0.25. Um, and that's actually going to sit behind um, my, my bit of aquamarine. So that's why it's that sort of length. Um, and then what I want to do, and this is the really filly bit, um, is put um, those three wires that are going to be forming where the Labradorite is, this sort of the, the branchy kind of bit. Do you want to just kind of... Yeah, let's have a look just at Just a that. reference where that is. Um, this kind of, the, this bit running up. So you've got two two of the 0.8 wires either side of the 0.4 with the Labradorite on it. Just let everybody know I'm so sorry. It's sold out. It's sold out. <laughs> You're going shopping mad today. Everybody's shopping on a Saturday in the sun. In the sun, isn't it? it the sun's shining and we're thinking about all those lovely spring pieces we're going to yeah. create. And I think this whole collection is so inspired by the springtime. Now, in case you want to change the colours, is that possible? Can I change the colours of the wire? Oh, yeah. We've got some spring colours here because oh, I think they'll go really well with the barrel. So I'm very quickly going to give you now this is 0 0.4 and you've got 100 metres of each. I am going to get, we are going to get to the demonstration. I'm so sorry. Uh, we've got 100 metres of each. 0 0.4, the wire twist is sold out. So you might want to get this because this twists together really nicely, doesn't it? These two yeah. colours. Yeah. A collection that you're going to want to add to your order. RSG C83. You're going to get 200 meters for just 24 pounds and 95 pence. Is that good value, Teresa? Yeah. Well, yes, because they're normally about 15 pounds each, aren't they? Point uh, no, well, you've got 100 meters point of four, it. The yeah. point four of 100 meters yeah. is, I What's think, 15. Well, yeah, 15 it should be 29.90. So we're so, going to give you yeah. a great deal for 24.95 today with the different colours. If you've just got your wire twisted for the first time, you need this bundle. Flush pliers coming up at the bottom of your screen, 29.95. I'm so sorry. Let's continue. Yeah. And once you've got the wire twister, you just keep twisting all of the wire around. I'm going to have to get some more wire at the rate I'm going. I just, oh, I just <laughs> twisted wire everywhere. Yeah. What can you, know you make? What? <laughs> I know. It just is so good. It's like when you first gizmo for the first time and you're like, gizmo, I'm going gizmo mad. Can These making furniture out of twisted wire yeah. or something. Why not? Why not? <laughs> um, so, yeah. So we've got the twisted. The twisted. I'm getting twisted mad now. Um, the coiled, um, <laughs> the coiled bit of 0.8 wire, um, the piece of 0.4 with our gems on it, um, 
and then one um, of the other bits of wire. These are a little bit longer, they probably don't need to be quite that long. Um, need to be a little bit longer than the, the, um, the first one, but probably only about 30 centimetres. Is it advisable to go a little bit over in length? Or? I always go over in length because I can, I can chop it off, but I can't add it on, basically. Okay. Um, and uh, all the bits that you kind of chop off, you can use for making findings, um, including the little, um, little knots on the chain. Oh. Um, so yeah, and, and actually I find the longer you leave it, obviously the longer the bit to cut off I find it you know a 15 centimeter bit of wire to be using an awful lot better than a two centimeter wire yeah, left over absolutely so well yeah absolutely you've got a point there yeah, actually so it's, it's better to go over. really if you're going to go yeah. over and really do it yeah so um, popping that one in the middle don't need to worry about that too much at the moment okay. um, it's just really the, the the art of this bit is actually just getting these held so they're in about the right sort of place um, so I've got the Labradorite running through um, the middle um, of the 2.8 wires and I want to wrap it in that sort of position okay. um, which I'm going to need to kind of hold and muck about with a little bit. Um, if it does pinch in a little bit to start with it doesn't matter, um, it'll, it'll come good in the end. Um, and then what I'm going to do, uh, I'm just going to have to do it backwards I'm afraid, um, it's, it is the same. Um, because this wire is going at the moment um, sort of forwards towards the, the camera, um, what I want to do um, is bring that um, over the middle wire, uh, just sort my wires out, um, and then under the bottom wire. Um, wrap that a couple of times. Do we have to really work with a certain tension here or are you just wrapping to, to um, get I, that? I tend to keep quite, I think I keep probably too much tension sometimes so I try, try to just kind of keep it um, okay. I, enough tension to keep the wraps neat I think. Okay and to keep um, them close together. Yeah if you pull on it too much basically the two wires will pull together yeah. you'll be pulling and you don't want them tight. to overlap each other do you no no you want to try and keep the gap so the labradorite has got somewhere to sit and, okay. and preferably move a little bit as well Perfect. so I want two wraps um, on that bottom um, bit of wire mm -hmm. uh, just there um, and then um, now I'm coming backwards this wires um, at the back so mm -hmm. I'm going underneath that middle wire okay um, then coming back through, uh, just move this one out of the way, it's a bit stiff, I'm going a bit kind of backwards, mm -hmm. um, and then we're back up to the, the top there, um, so this one's kinked a little bit just because I'm trying to hold it all and, and do it at the same time, um, and then, where did I go, that's over the top now, so over the front um, as you're looking at it, and then we're just going to continue with that wrap going this way. Mm -hmm. um, so my, my, my swap hands. Repeat. Now it's just important it. to note that Teresa is actually doing this back to front just for you to see how it's done. <laughs> you won't do it back to front. Yeah. God love her. She's uh, working back to front <laughs> here just for you. Uh, I, we appreciate that. We'd kiss you if we it's, could. It, it is more or less the same one, one way or the mm -hmm. other. It's just, but you all have it in a comfortable yeah, position. And normally I kind of have it about, you know, two inches from my face yeah, at this too. point. Working like so. that. <laughs> can't see anything. I can't. You get to a, And when yeah. I went to the opticians, they said, you're getting old. I went, how do you? <laughs> they were like 18, this young optician. <laughs> how could she? How could she? Um, so all you need to do with that um, is continue just wrapping around that top wire um, until you get to the point where the wire can go down between um, the, those two Labradorites that are there. Um, so this one is just moving about, around a little bit, but I'm about there now. Um, so it's this this way. Um, I think I might have moved them around. Um, so I'm going to come down again over the middle wire, Ooh, there, and then under the bottom wire. So basically, you've got like a classic kind of weave. Mm -hmm. So it's, o it's um, over over under um, as you go down. Two wraps on that bottom wire. wires are just deciding to not play ball and cross over themselves now. Uh, so keep on. Grab that. Now if there I had go. a handy Andy, would it be worth, oh no because you need to move it around don't you? So don't. Um, yeah, yeah I mean you possibly could. Um, I've tended to use my um, ring mandrel 
from the gem setting toolkit oh, to keep right. wires oh, yes. in place. Oh, okay, good. Yeah, so you could hold them all here, yeah. and then actually these aren't wiggling around too much. Yeah. Um, it's a bit easier. Um, every time you're wrapping this bit, you can actually just leave these um, these uh, these labradorites that aren't wrapped in yet mm -hmm. um, free and, and out of the way, so they're not. You're not trying to kind of pick your way through them. Um, that one's sliding around. That's absolutely fine. A bit like an abacus. Yeah. So I'm uh, at the just bottom. To could I just I'm let everybody know? Because I thought for a minute, I thought, oh, cripes, she's going to lose the end of those. And then I realised what you've done. You've yeah. put a little knot in the bottom to stop that exact thing. Yes. Attention to detail is oh, what it's all always about. Always a good idea. Yeah, I thought. <laughs> now, if that was me, they'd be they'd be being played with by the chickens in the garden by now. You know, they'd have been gone. But uh, you've, you've yeah. just anchored that. Oh, you can I, slip that off afterwards. Yeah. Um, I have been picking up the labradorite strand, having not secured the end. And, yeah, and it does. Um, oh. Yeah going playing hunting the labradorite around the living room so um. <laughs> we've got a question for you as well Teresa from the lovely Susan in Kent and Susan says what does Teresa use as a connector on the wire twisted necklace a connector do you, do you does she mean the, 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 the back the clasp the clasp perhaps there we go that's how she's done it and we'll be talking about that later, will we? Um, we can do, yes. Okay, yeah. great. Well, there you go. There you go, just for you. Uh, Linda in Sussex says, Hi, Danny and Teresa. Great show, ladies. Thank you. Uh, Teresa, uh, the delicate nature of your wirework pieces set your designs apart. They're truly lovely from Linda. I agree, oh, Linda. You're amazing, you. Teresa. Where can, I, where can I see the rest of your collection? Um, well... It, it's still growing. Um, I do. Uh, I do have a, a web page um, on Facebook, and okay. I do have a, a website as well. It's um, Lily Tree Jewelry. It's li Lily Hyphen Tree. Um, L I L Y. Yeah. Tree, hyphen, hyphen Tree. tree. Um, and and it's a purple thing on the picture, isn't it? Yes, it is. It is purple sort pendant. of a tree that's like a lily of the valley. It's oh yes, just, okay. Yeah, that yeah. was where it kind of came from. Yeah. Um, <laughs> okay. Yeah. And um, you sell your jewellery at craft fairs and things um, like that. I do sell at craft fairs. Yeah. Which area? Yeah. Um, down in well, around Southampton and around Hampshire way. Okay, around Hampshire. Uh, now here is the sort of wonderful wire work that we can expect to see from trees. So this is an example. One of your incredible pieces. It's like a cartwheel. The, um, yeah. Isn't that wonderful? Yeah, I, I think I did go a little bit mad on that. Oh, <laughs> no, I on that love one. it. Are yeah. you crazy? It's amazing. <laughs> Blown away. Love the delicacy, the little intricacy yeah. of your pieces. It's just remarkable. It really is. Now, I've got some gold. So people are asking for more wire. I'm so sorry the kit's uh, sold out. And I'm sorry that we're interrupting you, but everybody's buying everything and we're trying to give you as much as we can. Uh, we have got 200 meters in total. Uh, now, this is our most popular selling wire. You've got one mil in silver. Now, this is real sterling silver on copper and it's E coated, which will prevent tarnishing. And it will also make your uh, pieces hypoallergenic. So for anybody that says, oh, I'm a little bit allergic, you can say, don't worry. It's all been e-coated. Now you've got the gold and you've got the silver, our most popular colours and our most popular gauge. One mil is great for rings, for structure. One mil is wonderful for torque necklaces. One mil can be hammered. One mil can be texturised. One mil, is there anything I'm missing out? One mil is wonderful and malleable for so many reasons, it, isn't it? It is my favourite gauge. Ah! It is. It's your favourite gauge. Why? Um, jump rings. Oh, of course. Do you use your gizmo to make your own jump rings? Yeah. We've got the gizmo coming up for you later on. So jump rings. And jump rings, of course, are essential. And they can yeah. be very expensive, can't they? Yeah. And, uh, and more recently, twisting. Twisting one mil. <laughs> now, you can do that with a smaller twister as well. Yeah. And yeah. the larger one. Yeah. But the smaller is great for that too. Wire twisting is super intricate. Gizmo work is fabulous with one mil as well. And of course, make your own jump rings. Uh, I'm going to give you the bundle to make your own jump rings with. £52.90 is what you should be paying. We're not going to give you that price tag today. You can use your credit card to shop with us. Somebody's asking, can I use my credit card? You absolutely can use your credit card. WHGC38 is your item code. You're going to get 200 meters for just £44.95. Will this last a long time? It, it will. <laughs> Depending <laughs> on, unless you're like Teresa and you go, you go twist a man. Yeah. Yes, yeah, I mean, I've got, um, the, the hundreds mil um, 
100 meters uh, yeah. 100 meters uh, spools um yeah 100 mil wouldn't get you quite so far <laughs> <laughs> 100 meter spools and i don't think i've run out of one yet oh really so. oh gosh and you're using this all yeah. the time 44.95 we're very busy on the phone lines for that so please act fast uh, 44 pounds and 95 pence now uh, now we're not going to interrupt you anymore says says my producer martha we are, we need to get on and it's true stop interrupting us martha now carry on carry on carry on right. i'm so sorry well we've we've basically done that is the basic weave for going um the the two kind of the arms um of the pendant now just um, to show you so you carry on that yeah, carry on doing that uh, one side and the other um the only thing to to mention um and that does mean i've, I've I've done it slightly wrong. Um, the original kind of coil should be on the bottom, and then you switch to going up. Oh, to going to uh, the top. I'll show you on this. Okay. One. Um, there. So oh, your yes, first yes. first bit of wraps is on the um, bottom. Go on the bottom, um, and then as you come up, do sort of three weaves to take you up to the top and then Do you have to determine on. straight away what's the bottom and what's the top or can you just um, move it around? Well, you can move it around. Um, the only thing is with the bottom wire, that's one continuous bit of wire that's oh, going yeah. in the loop. The, the other two are the ones that are shooting upwards. Okay. So if I just switch back and I'll, I'll show you that bit even though I've kind of gone a bit wrong. Um, if you do, that's fine. It just means the little kind of um, wrapped uh, bit of wire will be on the outside rather than the inside as in that pendant. Right. It's not the end of the world, it's just a different design choice okay. um, so all I do at this point um, I've just switched it over so this the bottom one's the one with the, the wrapping on it um, you've got this one that's kind of free so this is the one that's going to go upwards um, and what you need then is your other bit of wire um, to come in this side sorry I'm sort of <laughs> pinging that about a little bit um, to start wrapping um, this side with the oh, messed them all around now um, start wrapping that side with the uh, the labradorite in the middle of that side so you've got the two then coming upwards does that make does that make sense it does um, it does, it does I'm, make I'm sense. not holding it very well i know because there's no you are too, holding too much wire no you are actually don't you worry <laughs> too much so if, I, <laughs> so if i just switch over now, okay to um, one you made earlier prepared to one, earlier i've done a little bit we've got of, plenty uh, of time of so don't worry um although it's moved a little around in transit. Well, it will so, do that. And actually, yeah. this is a project, uh, would you say, that you can stop and start? Yes. Like the book at the, in the middle. Of, you know, yeah. you can put this uh, on the bed, so you can stop and start. It's yeah. nice to be able to do that and not have to work, you know, one continuous mm. piece, because it won't all unravel. You can you can come back to this and, yep. and leave it. In. Absolutely. How long should it take me to complete the whole pendant, do you think? Um, I don't, it, it doesn't take very long um, actually doing it. Um, admittedly, it took me sort of over a week because I did actually leave it. Um, I put all the gemstones on oh, and then I, I just like wasn't quite that. sure how to finish it. So I just left it, did something else, came back to it. And uh -huh. I was like, ah, and now I know what I'm going to do. Um, so that's, you know, that's absolutely fine. So um, what do you think, a couple of hours A couple of hours, I think, probably, okay. yeah. Yeah, I mean, if you want to just kind of take your time over the, the wrapping, um, if you're not quite sure, just want to kind of get the tension, then it takes a little bit more time. But it's time well spent to, to get it neat, basically. Okay. Um, but yeah, a couple of hours should, should, should get there. Um, <clears throat> so this one, I've done um, some of the, uh, the, the labradorite, some of the wraps on one side. Um, they don't even want to move that. They are free, but they don't want to move that. Um, and then some of the other side. And that's just holding all of those bits of, um, of wire together now. So these two aren't going to go anywhere. These two aren't going to go anywhere. And where the labradorite is, that's not going to go anywhere either. Um, so I can carry on with those if I want to, or I can start on this top bit and come back to those, finish them off later. Okay. Um, if I'm just a bit tired of that particular weave, just want to have a bit of a break, um, I can do. I tend to, at this point, um, do something with these wires because they are still moving about a bit. Um, once I start weaving this bit, that will stop um, moving those around. Um, and this is where um, the point at which you want your um, your Twisters. twisted wire. Um, Twisters to come into sold it. out. I'm so sorry. We've got the flush cutters. Somebody's actually asked, can you demonstrate the flush cutters and how flush they actually are? Um, I can. On a one mil. We are um, yes, yes. Do you want me to do that? No, now? as and when, do when you do, you go with your own Let's, flow, and we will. Yeah, because this is point. this is point eight. Um, I've got a little bit got of one mil, one mil there, later. So I can, okay, I can so we will do that for you a little bit later. Um, I'll make sure I get that in there. Um, so. Another little bit of the um, 0.25, uh, 
Um, and I have to, I have to admit, I, this is the first time I've used 0.25 in quite a while. Okay. I've tended towards 0.4, um, really on the basis of it does the job for wrapping, plus it's a little bit thicker, so the wraps um, do kind of grow a bit faster, uh -huh. um, and you can put the, um, the bits and pieces of gemstones on for links and that kind of stuff. It's, it's got, you know, it covers the range. So yeah. it's like, why do I need the 0.25? Um, so this was a bit of a challenge. It's like, right, okay, I need to get back to using 0.25. Um, it does mean that the wraps are an awful lot finer. It does look more delicate. It does so look that's finer. Good. So that does look, it adds, it to, the, it adds to the, yeah. it's worth having yeah, the 0.25 doing. then. All right, it yeah. will take you a little bit more time, but you're going to get the professional yeah. result. You're going to get, and it's, we are creating finer jewellery here. We are creating delicate pieces. And I think that's what your, your niche, I think today yeah. most certainly has been that that fine that refined look in your jewelry and that's exactly what you've got and I love it yeah perfect yeah. combination in the end wasn't it with this kit yeah so I put the the labradorite on the point four just because I knew that had got a little bit more strength yeah. to it it would hold it a little bit more um, structurally yeah um, but you could have wrapped with point four you could wrap with point two five it just mm -hmm. give a different look basically okay. um, but uh, yeah I just I've, I'm actually fallen back in love with 0.25. Good. Well, actually, it's um, nice to rekindle yeah. that. And I'm, I'm sure you're probably thinking that about the Peridot as well. See, I've always yeah. loved it because it's my favourite colour anyway. Uh, but I think if you see a striking colour, sometimes you think, oh, and then you put these together and you're just, they're so poetic, aren't they? Yeah. My, my natural inclination would be to put it with a... Um, a bright colour as well, mm -hmm. something mm -hmm. probably contrasting, but mm -hmm. as bright to the kind fuchsia of... fuchsia wire looks very good yeah. with the Peridot actually. Yeah. So it doesn't over, you know, neither overpower each other. Yeah. Um, but I think that strand looks really bright, but once you separate them out into uh -huh. individual yeah. um, pieces, it tones it down. And what I did, the reason why I kind of did the difference in the bracelet and the, the necklace, um, in the necklace I put Labradorite next to it, sort of, you know, either side of the, um, the, the links, um, it's this one. Um, and oh, then the oh, bracelet yeah, yeah. Sorry, has got did, the yes. three peridots mm -hmm. sort of lined up. Love it, love it. So if you wanted it a little bit brighter, you could go with that. Or if you wanted to tone it down, um, you can put the, um, the Labradorite with it and it just sort of matches in brilliantly anyway. Perfect. Um, so yeah, so you've got choices with the, the stones anyway. Okay. So what I'm doing now, one of these wires that is sort of sticking up, that's going to be one of the centers, um, just putting another bit of 0.25 on. Um, and uh, just to anchor it, a few wraps just to anchor it. It doesn't matter where because you're just going to slide it down. Um, so I usually do three wraps just for look or something, I don't know. Um, habit probably. Um, so that's the, the three there. Um, always tend to leave all of my, um, my ends on um, till I'm finished in case things aren't tightening up. Or normally I leave a little bit longer than that as well in case I want to do something else with it. A bit of a spiral stone or something. On or do something, yeah. Um, so I'm just going to slide that down to oh, the, the bottom uh, behind that stone, actually. Um, and then with these two bits, um, if I can, I'm just going to try and straighten those up so they're actually sitting upwards. Um, there will do for now. Little antenna um, is there Because that's where they're, they're basically going. And you, you can actually then create it. Or I've got bits all over the place. And that's going to be the one that um, holds all of our beryl, isn't it? It is, yeah. Um, and you can actually create it like that. So you've got these two actually coming straight out and this one going upwards. Yeah. Um, and then bend it into shape afterwards. It's probably easier to do it that way. Um, so then all I want to do is put in my twisted wire. I'm um, going to leave a little bit at the, at the bottom. Um, so what I want to do is just put a bend in that um, and then I can use this if I want to wrap round that barrel later on. Okay. Um, actually that was what I did, completely forgot. This barrel um, is a little bit kind of moving around at the moment, um, partly because this uh, has kinked um, as I've been doing it. Um, so what I want to do before I start wrapping, if I can just get that wrapping wire out of the way, um, is take these two um, wires and you can um, put this wrapping wire on before or after. Get that bit out of the way. Um, so the one that's coming from this side is actually going to go right the way round, sorry my fingers are in the way, um, right the way round that, that stone. Hold the stone in place whilst you do it. Um, so it's come from there, gone right the way around, and is now coming up. Um, and I'll do the same with this one. Um, so keep a nice bit of tension on it. Um, 
probably a bit better than I am. And then you can kind of kink those back uh, there to get them straight. Um, but that then means this isn't moving around in the same way as it was before at all. It's actually quite anchored now. Um, then we can actually start uh, wrapping the, the stones in. So I've got my twisted wire and that's going to go in the middle of those two. It's going to sit there. It's going to ping about till it's wrapped in but it's going to sit there. And with my wrapping wire all I'm going to do to start with is two, two or three wraps over one of the edge wires and that twisted wire. Um, so I'm going to have to just move that around and find where my wrapping wire has gone because I moved it out of the way. There it is. <laughs> there he is. Um, there is he it wonky? Uh, I've got that little tail in the way. Okay. So I'll just pop him back in the middle. They might still move around a bit at the moment. What you can actually do is hold the ends, because obviously you can't hold where the barrel is, hold the other ends just whilst you're kind of pulling that wrap around. If you feel the need to kind of push it through rather than kind of round the ends, you can do. Um, if I can get it in the right place. Um, and this is really fiddly because I've got so many bits of wire um, that I'm trying not to catch in, which I think I've just caught one. Where is it? Oh, it's the end of the twisted wire, that's why. Um, I say it does it does look a bit fiddly. It is a little bit fiddly. Um, let's try it a different way. Well, I can't see anything anyway, so no point. Once you've got the hang of it and you've got your face in there at home. Exactly. You can't if put you your can, face. You really want to get exactly. I can see your legs. Just want to get you do in. that. I can have a look. <laughs> you get your face right in there when I show everybody <laughs> what we're creating. And don't forget, there's more to the collection as well. And we will be showing you very quickly. So, uh, what, what other piece were you going to do very quickly? We want to know. We want to look at the little links as well. I think. Oh yes, yeah, so I'll have a look at the. I'll show you the links. We'll touch on the yeah. links um, in a sec. Now um, I'm going to give you the wire work essentials very quickly. A lot of you've been asking for the gizmo. That um, perhaps you haven't got the gizmo already. Uh, we, I'm going to very quickly give you the uh, portable jig. You've got your wire wrapping jig. It does have. Um, if you're thinking, well, what's a jig? Uh, a jig is uh, little pegs that you place into a little bit like sunk my battleships and it allows you to create the same design again and again and again with perfection they will always be exactly the same let me show you an example of that so on the back you've got here uh, where to position your pegs just go around with the wire and it's all numbered and you get the most perfect results uh, now you're also going to get the original gizmo we've all got this um, if you are wire working you need this it will make your jump rings it will make your gizmo coils if you can do this you can gizmo it will create the most perfect looking wire for you then I'm going to give to you your mandrel now this is not your ring mandrel it is your mandrel for making um, out of wire triangles you could do triangular links triangular jump rings you've got square oval round in there as well so if you want to create lots of different shapes out of your mandrel then this is the one that you want different to the ring mandrel you need all three of these if you want to create this is the perfect gift for anybody who's just started wire working by the way you do get practice wire now all of this do you know what this for me I mean that's for nothing really isn't it 13 18 mm. all of we're not yeah. even going to give you that price tag today but I actually think for 1385 you've got a lot of kit there yeah. haven't you yeah lots of tools essentials it's going to change the way your wire work looks they're going to work in conjunction with the DVDs that you bought earlier for 4.95 for three DVDs if you miss that you've got to come back and grab them BIG C76 this is crazy three pounds a piece at 8.95 under nine pounds for all three. The value is phenomenal. Let me just ask you, have you ever seen in that crafty store, you know which one I'm talking about, one of these for less than that price tag on your screen right now? I'll challenge ye and think that, no, you can't. I, I shall challenge ye to go and have a look. This value is phenomenal, phenomenal. Now individually, these are all worth 5.95 for the jiggy. That's not the jig, that was the uh, <laughs> 5 95 for getting jiggy. Eh? 2 95 on the man drop, which is, that's for no, that's nothing, it's pocket money. You can't yeah. even buy sweets for that, not if you've got my children anyway. And then your gizmo latte, the gizmo. The gizmo on its own 
I think that is six ninety five, isn't it? No. It's five ninety five. Great price tag. There was only a pound off. Right, should we continue with silly, these silly voices? Sorry. Can you tell I was listening to the archers on the way up here? Makes me officially old, I know. I'm obsessed with the archers. I'm obsessed with it. Will Tom make it down the aisle with Kirsty? Who knows? Right, let's carry on. Um. <laughs> I can't top that now, really, can I? Oh, dear. Uh, right, anyway. <laughs> Back to the wire work. <laughs> um, I've skipped ahead a little bit um, and uh, done three three lots of double wraps. So um, I don't know if you can just kind of see in there. Um, I've wrapped the middle twisted wire um, and one of the frame wires three times, then moved over to the other side, figure of eight pattern, um, wrapped that three times and then back to the, um, the side I started with and wrapped three times. And I've just pulled this over because now we're going to add the next stone. Um, so I'll show you how, um, how that is added. Um, quite like the way it's just sort of standing on its own now. Um, so get one of the, the next one um, from your, your uh, decided um, stones. I've just popped that on to that 0.25 wrap, wrapping wire um, and it's going to sit sort of broadly in the middle um, of the two. Um, frame wires don't worry about the the twist actually you can move the twisted wire a little bit out of the way um, and I'm just going to wrap that on the other side just to keep it um, in place for now if I wanted to clean those gemstones afterwards don't forget you can because you're using your fingers over yeah. I think we should do gemstone cleaner here well I was going to say the same thing that my uh, producer just said him we know someone who does a wonderful jewelry cleaner that's what we need mm. to do, isn't it? Don't you think? Because yeah. I think I, I, you should. Um, we, we should be able to clean these, these gemstones because yeah. we're we're handling them a lot. You can get good gem cleaner. Yeah, um, and then I'm taking the one of the frame wires. It's actually the one I wrapped from rather than the one I wrapped on, but it doesn't matter. Um, and I'm just going to take that right the way around that stone because again, it's wiggling on there a little bit. Um, Take that round the stone and back up. So we've got the two frame wires. Um, this one's still in the middle. And just for a bit of design, um, I'm taking that through the front. And I'm just going to take that round the opposite way, actually, to the way I wound the, the other one. Doesn't really matter. But I'm just going to take that around the gemstone as well. Um, and that will just hold everything in place. Um, and then all we're going to do is the three wraps again on the frame wire and the twisted wire and then the other frame wire, the twisted wire, the frame wire and the twisted wire, put another gemstone on and continue till you've finished the, the five gemstones. So that's the middle piece. Okay. Um, so you're just carrying on doing that with the middle piece, carrying on um, doing the, the sort of the laddery um, weave. Um, the laddery? The laddery. Well, we've got a ladder weave. Yeah, we have. It's, it's called it. the, uh, I don't know. I don't know. We, <laughs> just, we were trying to think of a name for it earlier, weren't we? I think the gemstone cradle, maybe. Um, I don't know. So we've got those two on the sides. So that's kind of how it, it looks at that point. Um, this bit, sort of your bit that's kind of left hanging. It's um, so beautiful. Now, actually, mm -hmm. It looks lovely in a necklace like that. And when you showed me this earlier, because your pieces were being photographed, I actually thought, oh, what a lovely necklace that's going to be. Because uh, I thought that, yeah. but I didn't realise you were going to bring it yeah. together. I mean, you could do anything with it at this point. Yeah, you could do something separate with mm -hmm. those, or you could actually angle them so you've got something kind of across the yeah. top or however you wanted to. All I did was bend carefully, um, bend it round, try and keep it a nice kind of curve so it's sort of sitting at the top there. Um, and um, I know we're kind of getting low on time, so I'm not quite sure how best to explain how I did the the, uh, the end bits, really. Do you need your mandrel or anything um, like that to bend around? Um, no, I mean, I just kind of went for the, the curve, really. Okay. Um, but then in... And then you've finished it. Yeah. Let's have a look. We can actually look around here. Yeah, that might be Now, easier. what you've done is curved it. 
all around. And you've yeah. obviously snipped off a lot of the wire yeah. here as I well. I mean, the, the middle bits in the um, in, in the centre, the two sort of bits that are mm -hmm. going round here, um, I used those, anchored it round that sort of centre strut, so everything was kind of held. So should we have a look at the back? Can we see that from the back? I'm, I think you probably can't kind of see exactly You're where good. Is, that, is it those flush so cutters? Is that how it's... Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm not going to get a chance to use them, am I? On we it. will do it for um, you later, though, don't worry. <laughs> and then really just twisted... Uh, any of the other wires that are around. Whoops. Oh, took all the. <gasps> I just pulled it. Just I broke pulled it. it. No. Um, oh, there it gets easily fixed. That just anchors onto there, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah. Sorry. Um, there we go. So um, yeah, and then um, took all of the wrapping wires, the point four and the point two five. Um, few wraps on um, one of the frame wires and cut all of those off so they're out of the way um, and then just made a like, little rows at the top with any of the, the other wires, the twisted wire and the frame wires um, and then took them round for something to, to hold on to. Perfect. So you've made a little wire work rose. I've just seen that with it, and you've the twisted wire really make you, makes yeah. you see that petal. So pretty. This is so gorgeous. I absolutely love it. Now, how long do we have left? Do we have enough time to show the chain? We've got one minute. That's, that's easy is done that in one minute, actually. Oh, yes. If I can just grab a bit of this wire. Although, okay. I think this is what happened last time. I have done this before, and I think I did it in oh, you like did? Okay, mad good. time last time. Okay. Um, okay. A bit of wire. Um, make a P shape. Um, actually, you can make the, the, use this bit a bit longer. Um, make a P shape around about there-ish. Um, then turn that round. Um, so at the moment, it's actually come a bit like an and. Um, the wire's got gone underneath um, a P and this then a D. one. This is over the top. Yeah. Um, and then this one wants to come back round and through. Um, oh my that gosh! Loop. Is that how you did it? And then all you need is well, and then you pull it. a couple of uh, pliers flat noses. to pull it with, preferably flat. There's another one there. We're all right. Um, oh my gosh, pull. I cannot believe this is how you did it. <gasps> um, and yeah. How lovely is that? And I, can I continue now with the same piece of wire or do you cut it? Um, I cut it. Um, right. With a flush um, cutter fire? <laughs> I mean, you can pull it as tight as you want. I'd recommend doing them all before you cut them. Um, but now, you, now I show us how flush you can get with pliers. a flush cutter plier. Um, I'll go there um, and that's nice and and flush. But if I wanted um, to get really intricate, that's when I need these flush cutter pliers. Yeah. Which, by the way, we don't have loads left of. We've got them in stock, twenty nine ninety five. We uh, we have less than a hundred of those left. You've got to be quick. We started with four hundred. We are now very limited, twenty nine ninety five for those flush cut suppliers. After the break, I'm going to be bringing you some beautiful, beautiful gemstones. I will uh, give you the code for the flush cutters as well. And of course, if you've got any questions for Teresa, now's the time. Six zero triple seven JM Studio. We'll be back after this. join guest designer Laura Binding on our intermediate wirework course. The aim of the course is to enhance your wirework skills and take your designs to the next level. You will learn more advanced weaving and binding techniques which you can incorporate into your jewellery. The full course includes a selection of gauges of wire, a generous scoop of mixed gemstones, a copy of the wirework tutorial DVD edition 3, a buffet style lunch and refreshments, a tour of the studios and chance to meet the presenters, and a visit to our Gemstone Museum. All of this for just £79.95. To book your place, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. Jewellery Maker, bringing out the designer in you. Jewellery Maker course gift vouchers are now available. You can choose from a bronze, silver or gold voucher. Each voucher is worth a different amount that entitles you to put towards a course of your choice. For more information, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. Here at the Genuine Gemstone Company, we are happy to announce that our studio store is now open. If you attend any of our courses, you can now browse through special items, get exclusive discounts and deals that you can't get at any other time. Become an exclusive customer at the studio store. For more information on available courses and dates, please contact our call centre. The new studio store. The experience just got better. 
When you place your first order with us, you will receive a free booklet and DVD full of handy hints, tips and tutorials to help you get started with your new jewellery maker hobby. Do you need a helping hand to get started with Jewelry Maker? Are you stuck for ideas and need inspiration? Then visit our Jewelry Maker website where you can find our video tutorials. Expand your knowledge and skills with these easy to follow jewelry making demonstrations. Whether you're a beginner, hobbyist or business owner, there's always something new to learn. It couldn't be easier. Simply click and learn some new jewelry making techniques. If you miss a Jewelry Maker show, then simply go to our YouTube page where you'll be able to find hours of Jewelry Maker footage. Search by show, date or type. Alternatively, search by guest designer by using our playlist page. You can also find hours of tutorials with handy hints and tips to give you inspiration. Our YouTube page is updated on a daily basis so you can access any show at any time. Stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. Jewelrymaker is part of the Genuine Gemstone Company for a reason. If we're going to offer you gemstones, then they have to be genuine. But the only way we can guarantee that is by getting a lab test. This guarantees that you're going to get genuine gemstones. And that's exactly what you deserve. Get involved with Jewelry Maker by sending the studio a message during our live hours. You can send a text to 60777 and start your message with JM Studio or, alternatively, go to our website and click on Watch the Live Show. Simply type your message into the box and press Send. Make sure you stay tuned in case your message is read out. Get interactive with Jewelry Maker. Somebody foolish left a whole cake in the gallery and so who are we not to taste it in case it's poisonous? Taste it or finish it off. Either one? Now, let me show you. Let me, oh, I'll show you the strands first. First of all, we all need to be wearing this colour today. I've decided it is the official day to be wearing aquamarine type colours. It should be. It's spring. It's actual spring. Woohoo! These are gorgeous. <laughs> They're gorgeous. Isn't it a lovely day outside? Is the sun shining? Are the bees buzzing? Are the birds singing? It's gorgeous. It makes us want to sing songs. Now, I've also got for you these gorgeous little numbers. Don't these go well together? Beautiful poppy agate coins, 300 carats. The facets are glorious. And then I've got, I've only got you some garnet. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? They do this on purpose, they give me garnet, so I say that, like garnet. Isn't it gorgeous? It's gorgeous, isn't it? Now I've also got for you the cone of wag. Now if Ali Defoy ever tells you she's got wag's Y cone, she doesn't need cream for it. It's a wonderful, wonderful tool. Although there are rumours. Have a look. <laughs> Have you got wag's Y cone? Poor you. Oh, you want some wax wag? You should. They're amazing. They do sell out very often. If, I know. I know. If you want to make the perfect cone, look no further than Sir Gary Wagstaff's Y cone. It is in its cage. It's in its little cage. Shall I release it? I'll release it later. It's coming up for you. The cone of wag. I've got the coated collection for you. Thank you to forgot. Listen, Kirsty was very ill yesterday, wasn't she? She's not here today, quite surprised. Because now, little Ruby Licious has gone down with it. I told her yesterday, and this was the kiss of death. I said, "Will Ruby not get your? Will not Ruby not get your uh, cold?" She said, "No, she's stood I." Wow, stood I. She stood I. Have a look. Have a look at this. She's poorly today. She'll say, "I'm poorly." Bye bye. She's got her mummy's accent, it's so cute. Have a look. Now, can I just appeal to anybody right now? Are you making jewellery for weddings? Are you making, and so many of you are, prom jewellery? Are you making glam evening pieces? If, if the answer's yes to any of those, you need 
anything that I'm about to give to you from the coated collection. White coated quartz is going to look incredible, blinging from a tiara. I cannot wait to make my daughter's prom pieces. It's not for another couple of years yet, but it's, it must be exciting for anybody out who's doing it. This is so bridal as well, isn't it? Beautifully bridal. So stunningly subtle. Now, if you bought the wire work rings DVD, this is going to look stunning. Now, imagine if you couldn't stretch it or you missed out earlier on on the Silvery Moon collection. Now, these would take pride of place, wouldn't they? Just sitting beautifully where these barrel are if you didn't manage to get the kit earlier or you want to make another little spin maybe you want to make a little bit more of an affordable piece i'm going to give you this wonderful tasseled strand for an incredible price tag add a little bit of bling a little bit of palescence to your collection let that beautiful look grace your pieces with that bridal piece that you are about to create we don't have many of these let's give you a price like 85 carats of pearl coated they're only 9.95 for under 10 pounds you have just embellished that crown that tiara made that beautiful ring and you've got loads of gemstones left afterwards as well maybe you're thinking about making gorgeous pendants 0800 6 4 6 5 is a free fun number if you're dialing if you're getting webby with us it's all the w's.jewelrymaker.com these are faceted beautifully and the light is just bouncing off those facets and these are kind of like rounded facets if you see what I mean. Teresa, what would you do with these? Um, I, I absolutely love the 8 mil. Um, I, actually, I didn't use them for a long time. Um, I was kind of doing sort of the 10, um, 10 mil mm -hmm. and the, uh, the 6 mil. Um, kind of stuff. And, eight mil and then the it's like there's something missing here. Um, and point eight, uh, sorry, point eight. Um, I'm all in wire. Um, the, the 8 mil um, is an awful lot more versatile probably um covers kind of both bases yeah and i think with them being kind of coated as well um i just want to kind of put them with some silver, silver cluster wire. in a ring yeah. would be nice wouldn't it yeah you can make beady beads out of these they you can suit hash them you can do your macrame with them 9.95 cxru27 is your item code let's uh, trickle on and do your blue quartz oh hang on hang on oh do you know what this looks like tanzanite. Everybody who's seen this um, strand has gone, what lovely tanzanite. And I, for one, the first time I saw this, thought it was tanzanite. Have a look, see if you think. And then I said, well, is it iolite? It's not, it's quartz. Absolutely stunning. Doesn't it look like tanzanite? Do you know why I love this? Now, they are, they are like saucers, they are like rondelles, but let me just show you. Now the rim of these pokes out and then you get these almost like or space saucers, aren't they? Have a look now, because this is why they're special. Look at that for the face. Gorgeous! So they've got that lovely big face. Now can you just imagine putting in a head pin and uh, making a button out of these? Absolutely beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Now they're tapered as well, they're graduated. So think about these dropping from some earrings. And I've got some drop earrings in that Mark made. I love these earrings. I'm actually thinking about maybe putting some of these in the center here. Maybe you want to bring the face around by just moving the wire and putting them somewhere like that. We've got these earring findings in smaller coming up for you later on as well. Now, I have got the opportunity for you to grab a gemstone that's gonna give you not just color, but refraction. You're gonna get the most amazing refraction from these. You're gonna get the most amazing luster from these because of the facets. The lapidary is so precise. And it's all about that colour, isn't it? If you can't quite stretch the tan tonight, you're going to love me for giving you this strand. JBRU42, 95 carats. They're 5 by 1 to 10 by 3 on an 18 centimetre strand. Absolutely bling-tastic. Great with aquas, great with the fresh tones of the spring. Like irises. Like the most beautiful blue eyes as well. Wouldn't that, aren't they? Aren't they stunning? Oh, look at that. Look at that colour. Do you know, my son's got colour, eye colour like that. Just wow. Yeah, absolutely. He'll come in a little bit tomorrow for the last five minutes. Are you ready? <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to know what my producer just said in my ear. £12.95. I'm in shock. When's he 18? How dare... Oh. Oh. <laughs> Everyone in his class wants to marry him, you know. 0800 6 triple four six triple five. Do you know what? But he is a bit. Do you know what he makes the girls do? Sit and watch him play football. He said, "I know you fancy me. You can watch me play football if you want." 
Who does he think he is? He's a boy. At 12.95, JBR. You, 42, 95 carats, five by one to 10 by three on an 18 centimetre strand. These are gorgeous. You need them. You do, you do, you do. They're absolutely pretty as a picture. If you're loving any of the little delicate work that we're doing today with Teresa, then, um, then you definitely need this strand. You definitely need this strand. 12 pounds and 95 pence is your price. Now, do you know what? I'm just gonna pick some pinks that are gonna look fabulous together with this strand. This strand to get, look. Heaven must be missing some gemstones. Look at those, gorgeous. They're gonna, do you know what? I would, what would you do? I'd make a great big wire work pendant with both of these together because they're gorgeous. And because this looks like tanzanite, it's got that almost pinkish pleochroism. They just go so well together, don't they? Would you wire wrap both of these? Would you put these in earrings? Would they be going in cufflinks, these ones, wouldn't they? Both together. Absolutely stunning. £12.95 for the blue. Can we do the pink now too? Can we do the pink now? Look at that. Now. I can do them, I can do them. I'm going, yes, we can do them, can't we? Now, Teresa, I want you to look at these because these are totally wire wrappable. I think they make wonderful rings, stunning cufflinks, and you've got size, you've got colour, you've got clarity, you've got mystic coating. Could they, I mean, could these be any more girly? Could they be any more feminine? Aren't they gorgeous? They are lovely, aren't they? Oh, I love them. That colour, what would you do with these? What would you do with these, Teresa? What would you put these in? Um, I, I, I think you're right, um, rings. Um, I did actually do one. Um, it wasn't dem demoed on the show, unfortunately. I didn't have time to, to show it. Um, but it's actually um, putting like the point four through the, the drill hole, yeah. having um, a piece of one mil or point eight kind of coming over the top. Yeah. Um, so you've got the wrap on there, and then all you need is like, it's almost like a little gizmo coil. You don't even have to do it for very long. Um, so all you've got is kind of one wire kind of draped over the top of it. Um, that isn't the wire that's going through to, to hold it. So you do that with this. Have you got um, that ring here? Is it, it's I not haven't, this? no. Have a look, because actually, I'm just going to show you the ring that um, Teresa did do. Because look how beautifully the peridot, did you get the peridot earlier? How beautifully that goes with that last kit. Absolute, absolute poetry, isn't it? Just beautiful. And it's that, that, that soft rose pink that is going to be subtle it's not too loud it's going to add subtleness femininity the clarity is there as well you've got these wonderful big facets and actually these have been faceted according to the quality of the gemstone look at these aren't they pretty and have you ever seen an antique gilded mirror You've got little pinks like this on antique gilded mirror. These, these will look great with your gold gilding flakes if you're doing polymer clay and you're putting gilding flakes in there with it. These look wonderful with that, wouldn't they? Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. FCR U50 is your item code. Now I have got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve on my strand. Now if you saw these in a gem shop, in a, in a beadery, what do you think they'd be? About four pounds each, wouldn't they probably? Um, easily, yeah. Do you think they could yeah. be more? Um, well, I've seen um, pr prior to, um, to Jewelry Maker, um, the only place I could I saw any gemstone beads at all was um, one particular little gem shop um, near me. Um, and I think the kind of the point eight, uh, the point eight keep going wide. The eight mils. The eight mil um, rounds were anything from 50p to a pound, depending on the gemstone. So something um, like this. So yeah, you ju well, you just can't find it for a start, so. If you can, yeah, it would be a number of pounds. Now, let's bear that in mind then, because I'm not even going to make you pay a pound each for these gemstones. I'm not. FCR U50, 9.95. You've got 12, well, I've got 12 on my strand. You should have there, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. You should have there or thereabouts. Always the same carat weight. This is incredible value. Again, where else are you gonna find gemstones like this? These are last in stock, so if you love them, you've gotta grab them now. Don't take it to chance. If you know you're gonna get an influx of, do you know what? It only takes one person to make something for their daughter or their niece or their granddaughter for prom. 
for all her friends to say, can, you, can, you, can your auntie make me one? Can your mum make me one? You know, you've got to get the gemstones while you see them. You've got a 30 day money back guarantee on absolutely everything that you shop for here at Jewelry Maker. If you love it, get it now. If you don't want to keep it, send it back. You've got a month to do that. You've got 30 days, 30 working days to do that. This is the lowest ever price for this strand. It's absolutely heavenly. Works so well with that barrel strand that you bought and the peridot. It's gonna look beautiful with the kit that you just bought, the silver moon kit. If you've got that, you need this strand as well. FCRU50 is your item code. You've got a whole 160 carats. Do not miss out on this strand. I've got 12 on my strand. You should have about that too. You always the same carat weight. Maybe you get more, 11 by four, to 20 by 10 on an 18 centimeter strand we've only got a few of these left Martha's saying who's my producer I'm never gonna I, do you know what these are gonna sell out so let's sell let's sell all of them out in style they can't come back if you've only got three of them 7.95 don't worry don't worry if you paid 9.95 because Nobody's card is debited until everything leaves the building. You've got to check out baskets. Linda, Susan, Alison, Hilary, Sandra. Uh, you've got to check out your basket. It's seven pounds and 95 pence. You are guessing incredible value. That is wonderful. Well done, Hilary, you've checked out. Lisa, Gillian, I've got a jewelry maker in Greater London. Rebecca in Essex, Persis. Hello, Persis in Hertfordshire. Jane in Gloucestershire. Isn't Persis a wonderful name? Elise, you're shopping. Elise is, is a wonderful name as well, isn't it? A jewelry maker in Kent. Julia, you've checked out uh, in Hampshire. Well done. Gwyneth's joined us from Hertfordshire. Fiona in Five Hive. Gwyneth. Uh, Lisa and Linda in Cornwall. We'd all like to be in Cornwall today, wouldn't we? Shaheen. Christine in Kent. Is, it, is Persis a Greek name? It is, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, Gwyneth and Julia. And, uh, anonymous in Devon. Hello to you. Alison in County Tyrone, hello to you. It's great to see Sharul in Middlesex. I have also got lots of brand new jewellery makers. Welcome to Jewellery Maker. And you know what, with your very first order, it's not just this strand you're gonna get. You're also gonna get a free tutorial DVD, a step-by-step -step book, and uh, you get a JM Hub magazine and loads of new friends. And we do eat a lot of cake, don't we? We like a cake. Yeah. I'm yet to meet a jewellery maker who doesn't like cake. I'm not sure if Mark eats cake, he doesn't eat chocolate, so if you want to send Mark some chocolate for Easter, send it to me instead. I'll eat it for him. Easter, I love Easter. I love it. I'm going to have the biggest Easter egg hunt in my garden because the Easter bunny does visit there. Now, I'm going to give to you. Now you need this. You, well, you need all of it, but look. Straight away. Have I got, I haven't got necklace room, have I? Didn't think that through. Oh, maybe I've got a little bit. Look, aren't these gorgeous? Just as a necklace, aren't they pretty? They're very Gatsby, aren't they? That's Gatsby blue, I think. Yeah. Do you think? Yeah. It's very 1920s, this blue. It, it, it's just, it's, it's a real solid color, actually. But it's very, have you, you know, when you look up to the sky and there's not a cloud in the sky, it's that, that's the blue, isn't it? You yeah. can hear the lawn mowers now, you can smell the freshly cut grass. You can hear the children splashing in the paddling pool. Oh, it's some, you, can, you can smell the barbecue, it's not too early for that, no. Listen, the sun shines, I'm getting that barbecue out every time, <laughs> I love it. I've got a rotisserie barbecue, I've got a great big Jamie Oliver when I take barbecuing very seriously. Now, <laughs> I've got an outdoor kitchen, I love it, I absolutely love it. Have a look, it's not mine, it's Clark's. Have a look, I'm not allowed to touch it. Have a look at this. Isn't it reminding you of the perfect summer's day though? Isn't it just, are you now rowing on a punt in Cambridge? Are you looking up to the sky? Are you, you punt in a punt, you don't row, do you? Yeah, yeah. Watch out for them tunnels, don't be hitting your head. We've all done it. <laughs> now look, look at that top drilling. It's the flower that you wanted to make. It's the pendant that you wanted to make. It's the earrings that you wanted to make. Now I can see Teresa's looking at this with puppy dog eyes. Do you love it? It is lovely. And I think that type of blue is just so nice. You can put it with anything for a completely different look. Um, so you could actually um, completely unseasonally um, put it with the whites and the clear quartz and, and that sort of stuff, go for something quite icy mm. um, and, and quite wintry. Or yeah, you could go um, all the pinks for something quite spring-like, um, or you could go for um, other blues, turquoises, and then you're kind of off in a tropical oh. island somewhere. <laughs> if you like pina coladas, look at that. <laughs> 
I do like pina coladas. You're right though, mixing these colours with the peridot that we had earlier, yeah. gorgeous, where you can see there. Uh, now have a look, what about mixing the blue? Oh, I love it. I love, love, love it. I think this is such a beautiful, beautiful blue. Make sure you get on the phone lines. 0800 or the use.jurymaker.com. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now we've all taken our minds to that summer's day. Come back to reality. Oh, we don't need to. Look out your window. <laughs> the sky is probably this color. If only we had windows in the studio, I could confirm that. OMRU64, little chaffinch outside, is there? 125 carats. Nine pounds and 95 pence. Unbelievable. Unbelievable price tags. Unbelievable gemstones. Unbelievable weather outside. I know, I know, I know. We're all filling up our bird feeders, aren't we? I feel, I feel right up. I've got lots of robins, some chaffinches. Well, what are the ones with the yellow breasts? Is it a yellow tit or a blue? No, it's not, because Lee went, there's a blue tit. I went, it's yellow. It's a what, a bullfinch, a goldfinch. That's what I got, loads of those. And my ducks, of course, I've got my ducks. It's, a, it's like a farmyard rain, mine. 9.95 is your price tag. I've, I've got two mallards and one, and one female. They, they, they are my ducks. Uh, oh, but they do go away and come back quite a lot. 995 0800 6 triple four six double five aren't these gorgeous what's what's the uh, what reminds you of the perfect summer's day let us know we want to hear it maybe you've got um, a message you want us to read to your mum uh, for Monday tomorrow maybe you're going to be busy all day tomorrow 60777 jm studio start your message from jm studio and then let us hear it uh, maybe you've got a funny story about your mum now we've got uh, something to go on screen let's have a look Sharon in Glamorgan. Hi, Jen. I just thought I would let you know Lucy bought in the cake for tomorrow's show. <gasps> oh, she always has cake at 11 o'clock. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> what are we going to do? Well, why would she leave it? Why? <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Quick, let's stick There's my cake plenty. back onto it. I <laughs> think we can. No, it's got a bite mark, and these are clearly my teeth. I'm not in tomorrow, so it's all right. <laughs> Lucy, I'm sorry. I know what I'll do. I'll bake her a cake to say sorry. I'll be in by 11. Everything's fine. I will use my own eggs from my own chickens. Not my own eggs, obviously, because um, that would be yucky. <laughs> sorry. Oh, I didn't mean to say that. Now, um, thank you, Sharon. Thank you, Sharon. Thank God, Sharon. Thank God she sent us that. I thought it was Debbie Bolford. Oh, oh what are we going to do? <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's really nice. Don't worry, I'll, I'll make one tonight. I will. Look at this. Look at this. Tiger's eye. Now, Carol, our gorgeous Carol, this is one of the first gemstones she was ever actually made aware of. And every time we have Tiger's eye, she's, she normally tries to put it in her shows. I love it. Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. Now, you know what? The sparkle coming from this strand is incredible. Thank God for you jewellery makers uh, telling us about that cake before we were in so much trouble. Now these are very rich. They're very expensive looking and they've got, again, again I'm thinking about that gilded mirror. So in fact, and I know this is quite controversial, let's put these two together. My grandma gave me an antique gilded mirror and I've got it in my bathroom and it's got these colours. It's got these very colours in it. And I just think, if you see that, that sort of antique look, it's just perfect. Uh, Teresa, these are so powerful. You'd almost want them to take centre stage, yeah. wouldn't you? Yeah. What would you do? Um, it's, it's a tough one. Well, it's a tough one because it's kind of, you could either play with that kind of antique look um, and put like the antique bronze wire with it. Um, or you could go, you know, com completely opposite, actually put some of the really bright wires, the turquoise or the, um, the bright pink wire with it. Um, it would still look 
absolutely gorgeous. Different look, but absolutely gorgeous. You know, I'd put these in a ring. I'm just thinking, I'm just looking at your next designs. It goes very well with the next kit. Yeah. Very, very well. Let's have a little sneaker. <laughs> it's coming up for you after the break. Look at that golden sunset. This is perfect. That's very Egyptian. So, um, you know what? There's high chances that I may, that I may be stealing. Uh, now, all of this, HIG K61. 7.95, real genuine tiger's eye. Look at the facets. Think about these in earrings, movement, all that movement. Think about that sort of raw sienna look. Absolutely gorgeous. Have a look at what I've got for you. I'm just seeing everybody's names on my screen. It's wonderful to see you. Uh, Marina and Persis, we've got some Marianne. Gorgeous names, gorgeous names. Someone has some children so that they can steal these names. Uh, Sonia, Christine, uh, Christine in Kendon, Christine in Yorkshire. Marianne is my mum's name. Now, I think, I'm not sure whether this is the one I'm gonna be doing. I, I, is this the one? No, we haven't got that one, let me see. I've got the, can we do some clear quartz though? Because look at this, have a look. Have a look at this. Look at what I've got for you. Now this is gonna go so well with that blue that you got. Absolutely gorgeous together with that, isn't it? Just beautiful. The thing about a clear quartz is you can put it with anything. And the thing about having that mystic coating is that it's just going to make it look more bridal. Look at those together. More delicate, soft, beautiful, more, more like a bouquet. And, and when, you want a, when you want that nice big gemstone, you don't want it to be too powerful with the colour, you want to keep that delicate nature of, of the piece that you're creating, then it's a strand like this that you need. These are great for rings, these are wonderful for wire wrapping. You can see this has an excellence of clarity second to none. And the great thing is you have such a huge range of sizes. This is beautiful, isn't it? IKR U13, 165 carats, 14 by 9 to 24 by 19. They're just 14 pounds and 95 pence, 0806 to triple four, six double five is the number to be dialing. Or the w's.jurymaker.com if you're shopping with us online. We will be returning very soon with the gorgeous Teresa. You saw that sneaky peek of a collection. It's coming up for you after the break. If you've got any questions, now's the time to get typing with them. Don't go anywhere because we've got the Wags Y cone. I've got an update on the flush cutters for you. I will be giving you an update on those flush cutters, so do not go anywhere. We're really low in stock of those. Be right back uh, for you with the gorgeous Teresa after this. Join silver clay expert Natalia Coleman and take your jewellery making to the next level with this exciting workshop. Natalia will guide you through the various steps of gemstone setting in silver clay and how you can create some beautiful pieces with the addition of some of your favourite gemstones. The full course includes 30 grams of silver art clay, 20 centimetres of fine silver bezel wire, a selection of gemstones, use of all the relevant tools, buffet-style lunch and refreshments, a tour of the studios, a chance to meet the presenters and a visit to our studio store. All of this for £119.95. For more information, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. Jewelry Maker course gift vouchers are now available. You can choose from a bronze, silver or gold voucher. 
Each voucher is worth a different amount that entitles you to put towards a course of your choice. For more information, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. Jewelry Maker have an extensive range of DVDs for all abilities. Each of our mediums has an introductory DVD to help you get started. If you're already an experienced jewelry maker, we have a collection of projects and more advanced DVDs to take your designs to the next level. We are always filming new DVDs with our specialist guest designers, so visit our website for more information. If you miss a Jewelry Maker show, then simply go to our YouTube page where you'll be able to find hours of Jewelry Maker footage. Search by show, date or type. Alternatively, search by guest designer by using our playlist page. You can also find hours of tutorials with handy hints and tips to give you inspiration. Our YouTube page is updated on a daily basis so you can access any show at any time. Stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. Here at Jewelry Maker, we have many stages of quality control, from lab tests all the way through to our own in-house gemologists. We're confident with our quality, but we want to give you that peace of mind by offering you a 30-day money-back guarantee. That's me being Chewbacca. Now, <laughs> now, I have got for you, coming up at four o'clock, these gorgeous gemstones. Not that one, I've stolen that one. Have a look, have a look at these. They're coming up for you if, at four o'clock. Brand new strands, you cannot miss out on these. We all love a new strand and I can't bear it when I see somebody uh, making jewelry out of something I wanted and I missed out. Now I'm gonna give you the wax, wax white cone in a mo, but firstly, I wanna give you an update on the flush cutters. We are super duper limited. We have put our entire stock into today. No stock remains in the warehouse. Everything we've got is here. Limited amounts are left. We only had 400 of them. Most of them have sold out. We've got less than a quarter of the uh, stock left. Now, let me talk to you about why you need your flush cutters. You need to be on the phone lines. We've been umming and ahhing about these. Let me tell you, they have been so popular for a reason. Every single one of our guest designers wants or has got these. Now, if you want to get really flush, closing the title, to your wire work pieces, if you are ready for that professional finish, if you're selling your jewelry on, if you're making something really special, you need to make sure you've got these. They are well worth the investment of 29.95. You do have a 30 day money back guarantee. I was told last time I did this, there was a web search and they were so much more expensive than the price tag I'm giving to you. So we're gonna find out. These are Beadalon flush cutters. They are branded Beadalon, uh, one of the leading companies for jewelry making. Beadalon, you have got the design that allows you to comfortably wire work doing repeat movements. Now have a look on the other side, there is no dip. These are flush to give you that line, that definition. Nothing is going to be puckered. It's going to go right down and give you a clean cut. It's not an angled cut. It's a clean, straight cut. Now these are patented as well. So you know what? You're not going to find these exactly. You're not going to find them done by anybody else but Beadalon. They are an essential for any jewellery maker that strives for perfection. Teresa, tell me why you need to have these in your stash. Um, you, you need the, um, the flush, um, that really nice kind of um, flat surface um, once you've cut it. Um, but also because they're um, quite sort of sharp points, mm -hmm. it means you can get in um, to some of the tight places. So the two things together mean you just haven't got any little bits of wire hanging out um, when you finish kind of cutting it off. Um, but also I was um, very briefly using them early on <coughs> and um, 
it's the the handles as well are just so nice um, to to be holding. Um, it is that kind of ergonomic shape, the ergonomic handles that are just lovely um, as well. They're manufactured in Italy now. I know because I, I remember I, I worked with UK manufacturing for many years for 10 years and actually Italy it, it, anything that's manufactured in the EU has to has to abide by so many laws the quality now these are sharp sharp blades we know when we think in our minds about anything Italian made we think quality we think the very best don't we Italian made Italian made shoes and suits and anything Italian made uh, jewelry you know it, it's a big thing 29.95 now we've done a web search the cheapest we can find these for is well over 30 pounds 30 about 33 pounds the cheapest now I'm I think we are the cheapest in the UK the best price in the UK Go and have a little web search. Go and have a little web search. These are going to make the difference. You've got a 30 day money back guarantee. You don't have loads of chances. Now, one PMP all day long. £29.95 pence essential tool. Check out your basket. Now, let's talk about the Wags Wide Cone. Now, I'm going to ask the darling Amelia to please pass me this piece of jewellery there and the one on the floor on the down 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 yes disco uh, and anything else that looks waggy oh oh wags my cone in that amazing one on the left now if you love we all love a wag have a look do you want to be able to make the perfect coils let me show you what a wags y cone can do have a look at this If you want, if you want that perfect cone, the Wags Y cone is going to do that. Have a look here as well. The Wags Y cone is going to allow you to finish your Kuma Hemo pieces. The Wags Y cone is going to allow you to make the perfect cone. So then just imagine tassel, 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 earrings. Perfect. There's an Elsa Peretti pair that we need in our collection. I can't afford them, but you know, they are gorgeous. Have a look here. If you want to make a coil at a gizmo, the gorgeous Karen Crawford has done that as well. Have a look at this wonderful tool. The Wags Y cone is extremely easy to use. You just put your wire through and you can use any gauge you want. You can, you can have a wag with a twisted wire as well. Around you go, now, you, now what I do is I coil the top of mine. Um, I make a little loop, but you, you don't have to do that. Now notice that we are moving the wag and not the wire. Now it's so comfortable. It just fits perfectly in your palm. It's ergonomically designed. Just twist, twist, twist. Super neat, super professional. Can you imagine finishing off your beautiful piece of Lazy Daisy? All you do to get it off is snip off that end and pull it off. That's all you've got to do. And it's done. It's done for you. You can keep that little uh, tail if you want and make a coil out of it or a loop out of it or whatever you want. It's just wonderful. It just makes, you You know the gizmo, how you have to, the gizmo's just made your life so much easier and it makes your pieces look professional. The WAG is gonna do the same, you need to be on the phone line. It's called the WAG's Y cone because it's invented by a chap called Gary Wagstaff and it makes a cone. So it's the WAG's Y cone, isn't it wonderful? I, well, if you want to see what Gary Wagstaff looks like, have a look on my Facebook friends, because Gary Wagstaff is pride of place there. Now, Gary Wagstaff's family are a family of jewellery makers. Now, he actually created this, I believe, for his wife, but I'm not entirely sure, because she wanted that perfect coil. So, being a man of, of wonderful ideas, off he went to his shed, and he didn't come out of there until he created this incredible tool. Look at what it can do. A Wag cone is specifically made and it's UK manufactured. It's designed in the UK by, um, by the wonderful Gary Wagstaff. 
Now you've got that hole in there, you just pop your hole. Now mini my cone is coming and the larger uh, Y cone is coming too. Uh, you need to get this if you want to finish off your pieces with perfection. Kumahimo, Lazy Daisy Viking Weave, anything, anything. It's just such a wonderful tool. Have a look at what Gemma Crow did with hers because she's a genius. She did a weave and then she wound the weave around the wag. She wound the weave around the wag. <laughs> that sounds like a kid's song, doesn't it? It wriggled and jiggled and tickled inside her. I don't know why. Have a look, can you see? Just perfect. The Y cone is one of our most popular tools, along with the twister, Biggest seller of last year, our third of the stocks already gone. OBW G27, it's only 7.95. 7.95, it does so much. You can use your twisted wire, you can use anything to make that cone out of. Now, Teresa, I know you've got a Wags Y cone, I know you love it, it's yep. a great tool. Here she is with a Wags Y cone. <laughs> you could give us a live demo, actually. Talk us to, uh, through why this is an essential to you and, and what a difference it makes to your finished pieces. Um, well, I think, uh, particularly for me, um, I think Kumahimo. Um, ah, yes. Really like doing kum Kumahimo. And then you sort of come to finishing off the end. Um, and because I do kind of different sizes, um, you've never got the exact finding you want to, you know, to quite fit. Whereas yeah. this, you can make it to fit, but also um, you can make it in whatever colour wire you want to. Um, and yeah, oh, woven yeah. or twisted wire or um, to actually suit the piece. So instead yes. of I've only got the silver findings or I've only mm. got the gold findings, it's just going to have to be that. Um, you can decide what it is that you want to do. That's the best point ever. Because if you've got this bright pink Kumahimo braid and you want a pink wire, a chartreuse wire, then absolutely, of course, you're not going to get that in the, the bell shaped findings that go on the end of the Kumahimo. It's only coming silver or gold. That's such a wonderful point. If you want your findings to fit your piece, not your piece to fit your findings, you need a Wags Wyco. It's simply one of the, one of the most amazing, and, and, and actually, you know what? The easiest invention. Remember, this is a UK product, so if you're watching from the USA, perhaps it's not um, easily available out there quite yet. We know Gary Wagstaff invented this in, in the United Kingdom. It's manufactured in the United Kingdom. The quality, of course, is superb. The feedback on this product could not be better. Go and ask anyone who's got a Wags Wyco and if they could live without it. The short answer is no. I sleep in a t-shirt that says I love the Wyco and I do. I've got three of them. Uh, Gary Wagstaff said that you've seen me in them. Uh, well over half of the stock has gone. I do. I have my checkered pyjama bottoms and I have my Wags Wyco t-shirt. You've seen me in it, Amelia, haven't you? Let's not start rumours. <laughs> Amelia's seen me in it many a time. A Q VW G27 is your item code. Use your debit card or your credit card. Now I'm appealing to Alison in Tyne and Wire, Wendy and Anne and Jane in Leicestershire. You must check out your baskets. Brand new jewellery makers, well done for you. I've got Susan in Cheshire with an unchecked basket as well. Two Anne's. Brilliant reviews on the Y cone. Have a look at this. Isn't it the best name ever? Uh, it's a great tool, says Linda in Northumberland. Uh, Anne Marie says, so easy to use and very useful in creating bead ends or cone shapes to use in designs. Christina's saying, looking forward to using this tool, been jewelry making for a while and I've never seen this tool before. It's, no, it's a no brainer, easy and produces excellent results. It is a no brainer, it is easy, it does produce wonderful. Richard's saying, dying to get a twist on with this. Woohoo! It is a fantastic tool. It is a wonderful, wonderful way to complete your pieces. $7.95 now. This is, it really is exceptionally brilliant. And everybody uses them, don't they? Now, my darling jewellery makers, if you would like to create jewellery, like the collection to my right, that the wonderful Teresa has designed, made, especially for you, then you need the Golden Sunset Collection. Carnelian, moon, now. Let, let me riddle you this. When was the last time? Well, in fact, when have you ever seen Moonstone? Is it, is it Moonstone? Mo, mo, do you know what? 
You have got the most beautiful, beautiful collection. When was the last time we saw Moonstone, Peach Moonstone, in your rondelles, in your saucers like that? I don't think I've seen saucers of Moonstone. And you know what? You've got that strand of clear quartz you've been looking for. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. The clarity, exceptional. Now this is going to be great for beady beads, wonderful for clusters. Did you buy the bead loom yesterday? You need these, absolutely wonderfully beautiful. And if you didn't, go and grab the bead loom. Have a look. Saucers, I've never seen, have I seen saucers of Moonstone before? I love this. I love it. Have a look. Have a look at the tones. Now think about that sort of 1920s era. Think about those nude tones. It's gonna go so well with the gold wire that comes with it. Now you also get carnelian drops. I love, I love this. It's like that terracotta warmth of the Spanish sun, isn't it? Absolutely heavenly. I love it. And then you're getting your wire as well. 0.25 in gold and one mil in gold. Now you get 10 meters of the one mil and you get 15 meters of the 0.25. I'm also going to give you the findings. Now the great thing about these findings is they're so different. Look at them. You've got a hundred findings and you get those fabulous great big flower connectors in these. You've also got flat, do you know what? I've been looking for these. I've been looking for these. Have a look. Have a look at these. Star shaped head pins. Star shaped head pins. Need, need, want, need, need, want. There's a big alarm bell going off. These have got star shaped head pins. I didn't know, I knew they come with the floral connectors. I never knew they had star shaped head pins. Oh my gosh, we need them. Let me look. I'm going through all the head pins for you. You get the skinny head pins as well. So if you've got the intricate pieces that you want to... You know what? We've got to be really quick because I reckon these are going to sell out. Let's look at the head pins again. The gemstones are incredible. I'm in love. I would just make an earring out of these. Aren't they gorgeous? Star shaped. How long have we waited? Now remember, do you remember the heart head pins? Once they're gone, these are limited edition findings. Once they're gone, they're gone. And that is it. We're not gonna, now we give you the originals. I know everything, I know you're gonna say, well, what about continuity? We do that with our originals. These are limited editions for a reason because we want to bring you variation. We so desperately want to bring you variation, but we haven't the room for absolutely hordes and hordes. So we are giving you limited edition findings pack. Forgive me if you've seen these many times uh, on the morning show because I haven't done a morning show in ages, but I've waited so long for these star head pins. I did have a bit of an inclination that they were coming, but Hannah Oxbury doesn't like to give me promises because she knows I go every, every day. Have you got my star head pins? Have you got, and it drives her nuts. You've also got these amazing connectors in the flowers. You need, look at those, need them, love them. Remember the gemstones, you've got a hundred findings here. Let's look at the chain as well. It's always nice to see what links you've got with the chain, isn't it? Look at the thickness of the open jump rings. Oh, lovely big open links for you to get in your, um, your jump rings. Lovely open links. And then look with the gemstones. Isn't that perfect? Love the facets. This is gorgeous. Oh my gosh, you get the little, you've got the little um, bead caps in here as well. I love these. They're really Bollywood. Have a look at these. Aren't they lovely? Aren't they lovely? You could just put a star head pin through one of those and make an earring. I'm going to make an earring. I'm going to do it live. It's happening. You could just make a stud earring like that, couldn't you? Bit of glue, stud earring, done. Wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. You need to get on the phone lines for this one. I reckon this is gonna sell out, you know, I love it. I absolutely, I need it. UTG C71. Now if you were putting every individual item into your basket, you'd be paying 39. It's fine, I'll pay that. It's good value though, isn't it? At 39 pounds and 20 pence, you've got loads. Look at all of this, look, come on. Now I've got absolutely loads. I've got the wire, let's not forget. I've got so much, I don't know what to do. 
29 under 30 pounds we need this you need it you do you know what this is incredible and you know that the first kit sold out be very quick we're having sellouts left right and center no extra pmp you pay that 295 once and that's it you never have to pay it again up until midnight so for that 24 hours just taking my skirt down i don't want to i don't want to cause any kind of problems let's go on over can i shall i bring my tray of goodies let's take it can, I can't canter with this in my... <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was my canter. Anyway, that's a sore subject because I, I think my daughter ran over my boyfriend today with a horse. <laughs> Apparently everything's fine. Yeah, my boyfriend, does that make him fun? Yeah, but if I say partner, people think he might be a woman. Now, not that that matters. Now have a look. <laughs> Horses for choruses. Let's have a look at what you've made. Isn't this gorgeous? Isn't this gorgeous? Have a look. <laughs> have a look. I love that. I love it. That's beautiful. Let me see again. Look at what you've done. Can you just look? Can you just get right in? Because I want to show you how you've. Can you see that? Hang on. Look, look how Teresa's. It's beautiful. Wow, do you know what? Even Tom, not Tom Fulcher, the other one, the loud one, <laughs> um, <laughs> said, wow, wow. <laughs> Two directors, We're, they're all called Tom. If you're called Tom and you can direct, you can have a job here. <laughs> that's, that's how it goes in this building. Uh, now, honestly, honestly to goodness, this is just beautiful. Thank you. Um, the kit is absolutely gorgeous anyway. Um, so yeah, it wasn't difficult to design around. You've wire twisted as well. You've used the S clasps. The findings are <laughs> wonderful, aren't they? They're just wonderful. There is a huge chance I'm going to steal everything you've made. Do you know what? You're great at delicate jewellery. You just, you just wonder. Do you tend to make more delicate pieces than you do big chunky um, pieces? I, I do. I have tried to make more chunky. No, sort I think of pieces, go with your niche. E even if the gemstones are large the piece still seems to come out quite delicate. Well, I like that. I think, <laughs> actually, do you know something? The, these pieces are very breathtaking. And did you see, did you see on the charm bracelet the use of the star head pin? It adds a whole new feature. Yeah. Have you had those star head pins before? I haven't, no. It was the first yeah. time and I was kind of like, I've got to use them. Obviously, with having all Gems of Distinction strands, I thought, don't know if they're going to go through them or not. They did, um, though. Well, the, um, the Peach Moonstone, um, most of them won't because they mm -hmm. are quite tiny. Mm -hmm. um, but I did manage to get through, uh, well, three of them for, yeah. for that. Um, it may well have got through And you've got a few the skinny more. head pins, though, if you, um, yeah. For, yeah. for the rest of them, because they're in the kit as well. But those, I mean, I've waited for ages because I, I knew we were having the hearts, and I said, well, I want stars. What are we going to have stars? And, um, and Hannah didn't say anything. And I thought, I know that look on her face. <laughs> Hannah's one of our, well, our head buyer. I thought, I, can, I know that look on her face. They're coming, but she doesn't want to promise me. And I'm so excited <laughs> that you've got star head pins in here. Uh, something I've never seen in any craft shop anywhere of you. No. Star no. head pins, I love them. So which piece are we going to make first, Teresa? Um, we're going to go through um, the pendant for that piece. The pendant for this yes. piece here. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Now that's zigzagging. Really intricate, really, do you know, I just think so pretty up here with the wire, everything you need. Where do we start? Let's start. Should um, we start? Yeah, Let's well, I it. want to... Um, You've been secretly oh, wagging. Yes. I, I have, yeah. I, You've double wagged. You've <laughs> double wagged. <laughs> Hang on a minute, we I, need to I see this. I just had a bit of a thought about, I wonder if you You've could do it. You've blended colours. Yeah, with two colour, two wires, two colour wire, so, yeah. Can you see that? Can, oh, is it coming up on screen? Up. It's not showing up. It look, let me take this away. What, can you see that it's silver gold, silver gold? Oh, love. She's double wagging. She's double wagging. <laughs> like a jewellery maker with two tails. <laughs> double wagging. No, I love that. It worked really well. Yeah. Well, you that with one now. Yeah, I mean, if you put one wire through the, the hole, yeah. um, and then the other one just make sure, because I make a loop as well, so I just kind of oh, twisted the loop, two, loop. two loops, but then just put one tail through, put the other one upwards out of the way, um, and then you can, yeah. That's wagtastic, that is. <laughs> 
Now, okay, let's start. Now, no interrupting right. this time, we're not allowed. <laughs> Have a look. Have a look at this. And now we're going to learn about how, oh, oh, so yeah. can I just, again, it's the tops of this that I've never seen anybody. Look at that. Look, every angle is perfect. It's amazing. Just beautiful. It's like when you go to a cathedral and you look up and every angle is really intricate and everything is beautifully decorated. Just <laughs> stunning. I know that's a funny analogy, yeah. but that's what it reminded yeah. me of. <laughs> Half of the stock of the kit gone and sold out. So let's, without further ado, start. Well, I thought with this one, um, it's fairly similar to most of the other demonstrations, but um, I thought I'd take you through kind of stage by stage because there's a lot of design decisions in there. Okay. Um, so I'm just going to kind of talk through the decisions as I've I make them and that. you might make different decisions as you go. You're saying, oh, you know, this is similar. It's not. <laughs> it's not. Yeah. Maybe in your mind, <laughs> but certainly not in mine. Yeah. And I think it's brilliant. Well, I, I have to admit, I, I ask for the briolette drop drops for a whole different design yeah. um, that just hasn't quite worked out for me brain, yet. Yeah. Um, I can't quite get it to work the way I want it to work yet. I'm still working on it. And I thought, there's no point struggling with that. Park it let's do something else, do something different. So that's where this one kind of came from. But do so. keep, keep a few just for a future. <laughs> yes. you, I, we won't ask you what it is because uh, we, we want to see that in originality. So where yep. you've got, what, a forearm's length of wire there? Uh, <laughs> uh, mm, no, not yeah, yeah, you started with your... Yeah, yeah, yeah perfect yes, exactly. forearm. I know, oh, a forearm. Oh, I've, I've got a whole other measure now. Excellent. <laughs> Um, <laughs> yeah, it's about 20, 25 centimetres I've waxed of enough wire. forearms <laughs> in my life to know how long they are. Um, it's the one mil wire. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is basically make the frame to hold one of the, the briolettes in, one of the carnelians in. Um, and I've got my trusty um, bell making pliers. Those that have, people have been watching me before will know I tend to have these an awful lot. Um, you could probably go um, quite far down your ordinary um, pliers anyway. Um, but um, for the purposes of this, I tend to use these just because I'm a little bit lazy. I know exactly you know, where I I'm love going that all the tool. time. Now I'm yeah. going to ask my producer, when are we going to get the baling tool in? Look at, look at it. Is it in now? We need it back in stock. ASA of the P. Is that what it's called? A baling tool, isn't it? Is that what um, it's called? It's, I think it's, it's full title is Six Step Bale Making Pliers. Oh, thank you. There we go. There we go. <laughs> We're going to look for stock. I or don't some configuration. It ages. It's like no. the flush cutters, that one. Yeah. Every time it comes in, goes out. No, there are none in stock, my babbers. Okay, yeah. so let's but go. They are, they are just lovely. Um, so I'm going to go around the, the third um, largest. If I haven't the got this, the, the ring mandrel that I had earlier might do it, might um, it? Yes. Um, I'm just going to, if I just go around this, I'm just going to take it straight round, um, cross over the wire, so I've got a full loop there. Okay. Um, and then... Or a round nose will do that, won't um, it? Yeah, so if I go on the ordinary round nose, we're talking about it being right at the bottom of the ordinary round nose pliers. Um, I'm just wondering, I don't think this one's got one quite small enough, but you could go for a bit larger. Okay. Um, uh, but yeah, base of your round nose pliers would be absolutely okay. fine. Um, so we've got our, our basic loop. Um, and then um, I'm going to go in with it kind of flat um, and with the flat nose pliers or your snipe nose pliers. Actually, the flats would probably be easier for this. I okay. tend to use the snipe ones all the time. But Sometimes um, you just do that though, don't yeah. you? The ones that are close yeah. to hand. And what I tend to do normally is kind of angle them going that way. These obviously need to be at a right angle to this, this hoop. Um, so I'm just going in quite close to the other wire. Um, I can just kind of show exactly where I'm at. Just twist around. Um, there we are. There. Then. Um, and I'm just going to bend that upwards. And then we'll go in oh, the other side. Oh, this one would be a bit easier. Do exactly the same. Try and leave yourself the gap so that wire is going to have somewhere to, to sit. Um, and just bend that straight up. And then that is your basic um, shape done. Um, it might be a little bit wonky at this point, so you can just flatten it flatten it out so you've got that um, that piece uh -huh. that halo yeah so that's your that's your halo for your gemstone <laughs> um, and then in order to get the gemstone in um, we need to do a little bit of wrapping around that first um, I 
I won't do that actually, just because it's exactly the same as I did before. Take your point too far. You've zigzagged it, though, and just, haven't you? And well, this is just around to get the gemstone in. Okay. Oh right. Um, so right. Okay. Sorry. So, I'm so just gonna, can I do a little gizmo quill and slip that over? Do you think or not? Is um, it better you, to wrap? You could do. I tend to wrap just because then it's tight to the. Oh yeah. Um, to actually, the wire. that's a better idea then, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, if you've got the. Um, deluxe gizmo. Deluxe gizmo. Yeah, the skinny one. The, the skinny one might do um, a decent or the, job um, or if you've got the lazy daisy because that comes with the skinny gizmo as well doesn't it yeah yeah um but um yeah i mean it's also kind of getting it around that kind of angle can yeah. be a little bit mm -hmm. um, of an issue so i've just tended to wrap it straight on there yeah actually um, you're probably right don't listen to me <laughs> it's just as easy so yeah um so that's what we've got we've got it um this is sort of scooped that's itself the around a little that bit width, so that's 0.25 and it's around about kind of halfway um, round at the top, um, so I don't know if you can kind of see mm -hmm. that. Yeah, we can um, see. So then we're just taking the the gemstone um, in sort of through the middle of that. Um, so I've picked out um, one of the uh, the carnelians that I want They're to use. So pretty, and they work so well with the gold, don't they? Yeah, yeah, it does look absolutely gorgeous. This it is, the sunset, yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Yeah. It's just beautiful, <laughs> um, and. Um, with with the, they are different sizes, so you might want to have a think about which ones you want to use um, beforehand, or you know, take it as it goes. I think what I tended to do was the the largest ones at the bottom, but um, I think it works best like beforehand. that, doesn't it? Yeah. When you're doing the graduation of the largest at the at the bottom, it's yeah. almost like a it's a natural droplet form, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, there's plenty to, to choose from. Um, now, the 0.25 wire will go through these twice. Oh, good. So um, if I wanted to wire twister it, that would go through if I was um, using it in a different project. Yeah, it does because that's what's happened at the back. I ha oh, I think that's what I did at the back of that one. I can confirm that that's um. true. <laughs> Yeah, there is a way if it doesn't if it doesn't fit through you can actually put one arm of the twisted wire through and then, and then the do the Make twist it, do but, yeah. um <laughs> but yeah do the twist yeah Make it. Uh, <laughs> so all i'm going to do is pop that gemstone on um one side one uh, the longest piece of your um your point two five wire mm -hmm. um and this i think was about a meter i used i don't think you need that much for each of them but again i tend to leave more and then i can do what i like in terms of the um the weaving okay um so it's through on that one and then i'm going to take the other the shorter end um back through the other way Ooh, if i can find the hole again um and then just pull that carefully in together to sit you know you're going to pull one before you pull the other but we'll get there and it will then gradually get to point to the point of sitting in that halo which is obviously a bit upside down at the moment um it is a little bit like you can leave it quite loose and have them so they're um they're moving around if you want it a bit tighter where you've come um over on the wrap going in take the wire under that um, frame wire um, and vice versa the other side so this one was coming up from underneath so this is over the top um, and then you can give it a pretty good tug to get that actually sitting in um, preferably not in a studio which is quite warm um, and then all we're going to do with those um, is just carry on wrapping both sides carry on where the wraps were um, until you get to the end of the um, the loop basically okay. We've got some text messages that have just come through for you. A couple of questions. Uh, let's have a little look-see at those. Thank you for your text messages. You can do it uh, for free online, by the way, or the www.jurymaker.com or 60777 James Studio, followed by your message. Uh, from Kellyanne in Stirlingshire, who says, I'm using my mum's phone while she's out of the room. Sorry, mum, but could you say happy Mother's Day to our mum, Kellyanne Shaw, and that we love her so, so much, and she is the best mum in the world. We would never like a better mum. Love, Kelrin and Co Kieran, sorry, and Corey from Falkirk in Scotland. How look, Kieran and Corey, how lovely. Kellyanne Shaw, who is an avid jewellery maker. Your children love you and uh, they want you to know about it. Ready for tomorrow for Mummy's Day. I, I bet she's having a little bit of, of a cry. I hope Kellyanne Shaw, you're in the room right now. Happy a, Mother's a lovely Day, kids. Kellyanne. Happy Mother's Day to you. 
Uh, and uh, this is for Teresa uh, from Julie. Your wire work never ceases to amaze. One very gifted lady. Thank you so much. Jenny on form as usual, lol. Oh, no, I'm, I'm saying the most ridiculous things. I'm so sorry. Uh, Julie Pittman. Thank you, Julie Pittman. Uh, I wonder if she's related to my friend Rebecca Pittman, who is as mad as a box of frogs. She's probably not. Uh, <laughs> you, do you know, you are inspiring so many people today, Teresa. Your pieces are, are truly amazing. I love it. And I've never worked with Teresa before, so I'm feeling amazed myself as well. <laughs> Thank you. Right, so at what point are we at now, I'm darling? I'm just trying to finish this up, but I'm, I think I'm just going to kind of... Um, pretend a little bit that this has gone right the way round. Um, all you need to do is keep wrapping until you've got to, I um, don't know if we can kind of get in and see that, um, until you've got the two wires to um, the, the, the bit where it's kind of coming upwards. Um, I tend to leave this one on because it's kind of useful. Little tail. Um, you, might, you might need it. I did actually use um, one of them later on. Um, and then this one you're going to be doing the, the weaving with. Um, so you would actually do a few more weaves on this side than I've done just to keep it all tight, make it all look nice. Um, and then you've got your basic piece um, for, the, uh, for the design. Um, and then you've got a design decision to make. Um, oh no! <laughs> what do you mean I've got a decision to make? I'm terrible well, at making I've got decisions. a design decision to okay, make. Okay, okay. Um, that's all right. I, How I, you going to arrange what I did. them? Yeah. yeah. Um, well originally I had actually thought about having five on it. Um, but I just thought that was probably a little bit too much. Um, and I did wonder about having them a little bit sort of more um, horizontal rather no, than having them so high. What you've done is so, perfect. Um, but yeah, so what I decided was that I'd have them, so they're squidging in as well, kind of helps with the wire. Um, so they're actually sitting like that. Um, that means all of these wires are going to be able to sit together quite easily. Yeah, it, it, it works actually for symmetry, doesn't it? Yeah. But obviously, in order to then attach them to each other, um, you need to um, have this wire, which is your wrapping wire, yeah. up at this point where you can start crossing over onto the, the wires of the next one along. Okay, is it advisable to anchor onto this in some way or do you need to keep moving it? Um, well, we've, uh, this is already anchored on. Don't yeah. need to worry about the other two. Yeah. Once you've made the design oh, I mean, decision. Like, do you have to clamp no, the wires no, down? No, Sorry. you're absolutely fine at the moment because okay. you work one at a time as you put them in. Okay, and then um, they'll stay together once they're yeah. wired anyway, yeah. don't they? Um, so, what we, but all we need to do at the moment is get this wire up to this point by okay. some means. And if you have a look, Teresa's talking about this point here. There we go, this point here, being able to then meet this gemstone, which is then in turn going to go and meet this one. Yeah. So you can choose whatever wire wrap you want. I want to do exactly to do what that. you've done. <laughs> so all I did was the most, my most kind of basic one, which is three um, wraps on one. Um, and then a figure of eight to get over to the other one, three wraps, back and then the back again. Okay. Oh, right, um, figure of eight, then three. So, well, from where we are at the yeah. base there, um, this is your end wire, don't need to worry about it. Um, it's coming up through the middle. Um, so we'll go on to, and possibly so useful just to splay these out a little bit. I'm going to splay loops. them that way because obviously at some point I'm going to have six wires. Yeah. Normally I'd do one one way, one the other. Just okay. helps having a bit of a gap, basically. Um, so this is coming through the middle um, and then all I'm going to do is go round. Um, three times. Three times. Pull them tight each time. Singing once, twice, three times a lady. Sometimes if, you feel if I'm like working it. in a three, that's what I'd be doing. <laughs> <laughs> if you want, I, do. I, I is, won't. Is if that you don't all mind. come by all when I'm working? I'm afraid. I um, do everything in the wash the clothes, my lord. Come by Any, anything I'm doing that's really boring, <laughs> the repetitive. But once, twice, three times a wire wrap is for interesting work. Okay, that's the sound of wire being delivered, and the hands, <laughs> the hands of Martha. Oh, I'm sorry. No, it's fine. Um, we like it. We like so. it. <laughs> so as you can see, I've done one. One lot on one wire, cross through, one lot on the other wire, and I'm just going to keep doing that. Um, so you're wrapping sort of through um, each time. So I'm trying to kind of move my hands out of the way so you can see it kind of happening. Um, oh, has that actually gone through? It did go through. I pretended it didn't. Um, so that's your three on one. Then you're mm -hmm. just crossing over onto the other one and going through again. 
um, to wrap three on that one. So three up, three down, three up, yep. three down. And just keep going until you get to the point where you want to get to, um, up to the next gemstone. Okay, so we're going, so at that point, you've got one prepared, I'm sure. Um, I, actually, I haven't on this one, so I'm just going to quickly kind of... Uh, you could do that quickly, yeah. I well, bet you can't. it might not look as neat as it would normally. But, that's fine, that's um, fine, we'll allow that. We'll, we'll, we'll leave a few gaps in between and we can get up there a little bit quicker. Okay, so three times around. Whilst Teresa's doing that, let me remind you of your Wags Y cone. Your Wags Y cone is available. Uh, your designer inspiration with Teresa is now limited at twenty nine ninety five. There are only a few left, and I've got Janet and Carol with an unchecked basket. Uh, here's the gorgeous gemstones, twenty nine ninety five. Wags Y cone still available at eight ninety five for you. Oh eight hundred six triple four six double five. You love to finish your work intricately with perfection. If you want to be able to create little findings like that, then you'll need a wonderful tool like this. The Wags Y cone uh, created by Gary Wagstaff and a UK product made in Great Britain, uh, produced in Great Britain, designed in Great Britain. Seven pounds and 95 pence is your price tag for a tool that you will use over and over and over again. I'm gonna give you some gorgeous colors. Someone's been at this one, look. <laughs> it was uh, Martha, she's not a very good floor manager, she's saying. Uh, now, now have a look at this. Were you a floor manager in 2002? She was, was she? Yeah. Have a look. I used to work with Martha in 2002. I remember bringing my little baby Mia in to, uh, to our, where we were working. And um, yeah, that was a long time ago. Makes me feel very, very old. <laughs> Have a look. Have a look at these three. You've got uh, 0.6 in your antique bronze, in your aubergine, and in your silver, you've got 100 meters of each, it should be 59.85. But it's not going to be that price tag today. You can twist these together. Twisting different colored wires is amazing. We, got, we had our wire twister, unfortunately. It is sold out, 49.95 is your price tag, uh, which is such incredible value. What about that? What do you think of our quality wire? Have you ever used different wires? Um, I have. Um, I mean, when I first started, mm -hmm. jewellery maker wasn't around, so I was kind yeah. of going to, well, I think they were art shops in those days. I don't yeah. think they even had craft shops in Did those they? days. Um, <laughs> if you could find some wire, you were just kind of doing well, really. Um, and yeah, I mean, I think um, jewellery maker seems to be a bit softer, so yeah. it's a lot easier to work with. Um, That's been the general thing and uh, yeah. uh, the feel of it and the fact that it doesn't tarnish very easily. No, and I love the range of colours as well. Mm. Um, I really Is that something like. you find hard, getting other ranges of colours? Um, yes, unless you've got kind of the, the craft wire which is quite thin um, oh. for your kind of paper crafting, you tend to yeah. have tiny little spools of, um, of lots of colours. They are tiny, aren't they? But They're tiny. Yeah, um, and it is quite thin um, wire, so mm. it'd be good for wrapping, but yeah. not um, good for kind of structure work. Mm -hmm. um, and it's not long enough usually to actually then be twisting. No, because they're in little tiny spools, aren't yeah. they? Yeah, so, you know, the range the range of colours and, and sizes is, is what I tend to, um, you know, appreciate probably the most. Yours will come neater than that, because Martha wouldn't have been at it. The Martha Mouse has been in there and undone it all. Uh, 49 pounds and 95 pence, 300 metres in total, which is just such a, a wonderful amount of wire. It's going to really, really last you. And you can, of course, use this uh, for earring findings as well. 0.6 will go through your piercings. Right, now let's continue. Finished your weave that um, uh, we were, yep. that was so, the point we were at. So I've woven up to that one. Um, and so we need to attach it. And obviously, once we've attached it, we then need to weave up to the next one. Uh -huh. So again, design decision on what How to do. How you're gonna do that. Um, and all I decided to do, because obviously, um, well, the design I decided was obviously the, the, um, the zigzag, yeah. um, but zigzagging across six wires is going to be longer than across four mm -hmm. that you've got. I decided not to worry about it too much. I'd go with a small zigzag and then um, head up to a larger one. Um, so that's all I did. So I'll show you um, just kind of starting it. Um, and then it is actually the same um, going across. So at the moment, they're still both um, separate. Um, I've ended this weave on um, the uh, strut that will be closest to the new one. Um, so it's actually coming kind of back round um, this, this side at the moment. Um, then we're gonna place that in. Um, 
it doesn't even have to be exact where you you um, you want it. Um, you can actually sort of scoot it about a little bit as you as you go. Um, the good thing with this weave as well, it's quite forgiving. If it's a little bit too tall, um, you can actually push it down a little bit. If it's a little bit too squashed, you can actually um, splay it out a little bit. Um, so you've got a little bit of play um, in terms of how how long um, that wrapped piece is. It looks really intricate, but it is in fact once you know the structure of it, like a puzzle everything slots into place with this design so in fact I, I will say actually this is something I think I would be confident in doing if you'd have shown me the piece before and said do it I'd have gone <gasps> but now you've explained to me how I, I actually feel confident that I could I could do this myself yeah. It is just kind of that step by step. Um, now, obviously, we've gone through round, round um, that uh, second. Um, so we'll call it, we'll call it number two because we're going along that way. Okay. Um, three times. So we're just going to do that on the next one um, three times again, um, mm -hmm. and then because we're starting um, the the zigzag, we then move over. Um, I hope that's three on the front as well as three on the back. Sometimes it isn't. Um, to that number four strut, go three times around that one. I think that is three. I'll just check. Yes. Um, and then back to the third. Um, at the moment, obviously, there's only one piece that's holding all of this. Mm -hmm. um, so it is a little bit wiggly, um, it'll tighten up. Um, and be a lot more solid by the time you've finished. Um, so that's uh, three on there actually. Um, so once we've gone um, on the number three, we're back to the number two again, which is, oh, I'm just gonna hook it round um, through there. And you might find if you go kind of to the front and to the back rather than winding all the way round, it might be easier at this stage just to keep everything square. So I believe that's my three, it's three from here. Um, and then back over to the number one. Before heading back again. Um, and all you need to do is carry on with that. So you've got three wraps around each um, of the struts and just take them in turn. So we've done number one, back over to number two and so on um, until we get up to the point of, the, of putting the next one in. Um, which I'll just sort of scoop over that far um, just to show you it's probably I'd probably do another zigzag before I did actually put it in um, on the design but um, obviously all we're doing probably guessed by now um, once we've got the three on number four strut we're putting in the next one um, and doing this and then going over to number five oh. to wrap three times around number five um, and these are a little bit longer for a reason but um, so yeah so that obviously it's not sitting in because it would be higher up if I can just sort of move them up a little bit so I would go um, and, and weave again um, but that is just going again and then scooting all the way back um, and all the way over until it's the length that you want it to be okay perfect um as i said th those those ones are a length for a reason um have them as long as you like but those two are the ones i'm going to do some well i think one of them is one of the ones i'm going to do some fiddly stuff with i tend to leave them longer anyway um but that it will hold it all in together as you go um you might want to just kind of clamp it um a little bit with the uh, nylon jaw pliers it just settles all the wires in then Okay, perfect. Now you've got one. I have got one at this stage. To show you what what yours should look like at this so stage. This is the point at which I sort of thought, okay, it's long enough now. Um, we'll um, we'll leave it at that. Um, I love that. And don't forget, you can see uh, this demonstration and others on weaves on our YouTube channel. If you click to subscribe to that. Uh, we've got lots of different um, designers do do this kind of similar weave. Um, I know Alison did one with the booty. You've done it here. Uh, you can um, you can see that on YouTube.
Yeah, I mean, you can go over two wires with the, the wraps if you wanted to. Um, this one just does one wire just to keep it looking a little bit more delicate. You could just wrap twice round rather than three times round. Uh -huh. um, I, no, so I like the exact forth. way you've done it. Yeah. I want to do it like so, that. So, you know, it, it, but there is, you know, several there design is. decisions. Just it is a weave. Um, as long as you can weave across six wires, um, you can use whatever weave you want. Okay. Um, so then we're at the, okay, now what on earth am I going to do with all of these wires <laughs> stage, which I normally get to at some point. Um, and all I decided to do... I'm imagining you in your, in your little uh, gemstone lab, just in a big ball inside wire, thinking, how am I going to do that? It is a kind here? of a now what sort of a stage. Um, I'm just going to chop a little bit of that off for a moment. Do you have cats or anything at home that get, get into the I wire? don't, thankfully. I think that would be a bit. Um, I do, I just don't have any pets at the moment. Pets so. and children, or are you um, not? No, no, I don't You have, make your own life either. easy, yeah, do you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> are you a cat, cat or dog, we want to know? Um, I, I think cat. You think cat? But I've never had a dog, so if I had a dog, I might be a bit more... I, dog I'm dog I because dogs are brilliantly stupid and that's why I love them. <laughs> I can relate to that vacant expression on a terrier's face. But I like cats because they're very clever, aren't they? And yeah. they're, uh, they're wily. Yeah, well, we had a um, ginger Tom for years, years and years. Did you? Um, and he was so clever. Um, it was unbelievable. Um, so, yeah. Whole, whole personality of his own, so I think I'd be going. They for, do though, don't they? I think they? I'd be going for another ginger if I did. Have Yay! Have anyone's got any ginger kittens? <laughs> I want a kitten so badly. I mean, oh. I've always had both, um, but my last one got eaten by a fox. Um, we don't. We won't go into that though. I know. Oh, Felix. Um, anyway. And I didn't get a cat after that because I just couldn't. Uh, but I would love another one. We've had yard cats. We've got two black yard cats, but not a house cat. Uh, I, I do. I love animals though. I love them. Yeah. We got, nice we got a hamster. We got a hamster that um, that is crazy. He goes up and and he does little monkey bars like that. I'm going <laughs> to film it for you and put it on on Facebook. He's he's like a little acrobat. Yours does that, does it as well? Kay's does that, <laughs> which is which is uh, Tom's girlfriend, Kay. He's just said his ha his girlfriend's house is a zoo. Uh, <laughs> that's nice of you, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> Right. right, so where are we now? We're in so, cat land, aren't we? Yeah, we're in cat we're land. Come back in to cat land cat now. Land. <laughs> back to the wires. Um, the uncat, uh, mocked about wires. Um, so all I decided to do was I was going to turn them all over um, so they all have hoops and then thread another bit of wire through them. Mm -hmm. um, and then it's kind of like, okay, so where on earth am I going to cut them? Am I going to get this in the right place? So... I got a bit of spare wire that I've always ah, got. Ah, yeah, you were saying off. that earlier. Yes. Um, basically, this is looped. It could be two pieces of wire, um, but cut to the same length, um, and then I looped one. So if I ma match this up um, to the where um, to these wires, I know if I want this loop to kind of hit where the um, the weaves have finished, mm -hmm. I need to cut it um, where that top piece is. Okay. Um, so that was that was just that kind of you know that idea for for um, the tool. You've thieved back my flush cutters. So oh, where should... are they? Where are they? Because we've still got some of those available. I'll go and get them for you. Wait oh, there. Excellent. <laughs> She's telling me to change change my stride. <laughs> Gallop. She's going to be a variant. Okay. Um, and at home, I might be a little bit more OCD about this and matching them all up, you know, one by one. Now, this as is I why we them. need flush cutters, isn't it? Now, yeah. hang on a minute. As so many people have asked, <laughs> what are these good for? How do I use them? We're about to see why you need the flush cutter pliers. The details are about to come on your screen. They're £29.95 and, and they are the best. Let da -da. <laughs> so this should all be str be straight it might, might not because i'm just trying to get a level down with it i'm doing two at a time Woo oh, Watch they're, out, they're going flying but oh. Woo <laughs> didn't need those eyes did you Cass? <laughs> <laughs> oh that's yes. why they're to make sure that people aren't around and then we've got all of it more Let's or less have a look at i'm those on a bit edges. of an angle i have to admit but can you just point um, them at Kaz? the edges sorry, the edge yes there yeah. there that's why we need them Perfect, twenty nine ninety five. We've only got a few of those left. <laughs> Be quick. M oh. K B N sixty nine. There are. Are there still unchecked baskets for those? Because you could miss out now. We're approaching nearly hardly any singulars. 
Look at that though. Yes, I have just realised I've completely messed up. I got snap happy with them and I shouldn't have cut off to the two end <laughs> ones. Oh no, it's so, my fault. So, never entirely. mind. Um, so I can't do exactly what I would do um, on that. But let's but, see what you were going to um, do. Can so, you talk us through well, what you Well, I mean, do? If, I do, if I do the rest of it um, as that, what I okay. would have done basically from that strut, where I knew I needed to cut it, what I wanted to do, the two end ones, I just wanted to bend a 90 degree angle um, and then make a, loop. Um, make a loop. Like this, here you go. So this is the one you've done, two, uh, two loops. Yeah. Was that so, a pin through there? Um, yeah, um, and then if I just loop all of the all of the, you could finish it off like this. I want those um, baling pliers. I know back you can't. You, you you shouldn't actually do all of them at the same time. I'm just rushing now. Um, if you but do they're, one they're at a time, nice it uniform, will. Though, yeah, um, it is a little bit better if you do one at a time and just turn them all over. Um, obviously, take a bit of time, make it nice and neat. You can do these on your, um, your round nose as well. Um, it's not very neat, but um, so I've got that kind of bit at the end. Um, but obviously what I would have um, is one that looks a bit like that on mm -hmm. the end. So I've got a, a piece. Um, and then again, I was going to do a, so what do I do with these wires? Um, all I did was a, a bit of a, I want a twiddly bit. A doing. Um, and if I put the twiddly bit sort of uh, there-ish. Just creates oh. that touch of elegance. Um, that's what I'll do sort of thing okay that's what I'm looking for and then you can just kind of shape it around um, and anchor it in with one of these wires that you've still got sort of kicking around at the bottom so apologies for that I just got a little bit um, happy with the, the flush cutting pliers there um, if obviously you could leave it plain um, it looks fine plain too and that's obviously what I was intending different ideas to do it um, and then in order to fix it onto the um, the uh, the piece itself. Um, I took a couple of those little flower. They're so um, cute, aren't they? What are they flower connectors? Flower. They could be connectors. They could be bead caps. They they Flowery are just things. they're just little findings. They're <laughs> fabulous findings. Yeah. Is what they are. Um, and probably with my round nose pliers, just a little bit of wire um, and pop a loop on one end, which I can't kink back. There we go. There we are. Then um, I'm rushing now. My hands are a bit warm. Don't worry. Um, Pop on one of the, the little flowers. Um, pop on your um, now completed without all the bits and pieces um, on it um, pendant. Aha. And then the other um, flower on the, the other end, um, and then make another loop on the other end um, to hold it all. Then you've got a little bit of movement with it as well. I love it. Um, and obviously, what I did um, on the the piece there um, is I just embellished it with a couple of the the smallest bits of the peach oh, moonstone as with well. With a 0.25 wire. Um, yeah. Well, because you've got this wire sort of sitting at the top here, mm. you can just kind of weave that through carefully. Um, stick one on, um, thread it back through. Um, I mean, basically, I made the loops in the wires that were coming down, um, and then and that was where I placed the, the moonstones. Um, so you pop it that back through um, and then just thread this wire through to the next one. Um, and and that's, that's your bit done, basically. Perfect. I did say I would show you the back of the necklace as well, where you've wire twisted. Have a look at this. So wire twisted bales. We've got some text messages. There's a lot of Mikey loving going on as well. A lot of Mikey loving. We've had to... <laughs> Uh, here's a fantastic design that would be an amazing earring uh, just add a hook it would actually wouldn't it do you want to show the, the earrings um oh let's look at the <laughs> earrings to match oh my gosh the matching earrings there's a huge chance i'm going to steal everything yeah. you've ever made basically as we started um with one um one hoop um on one gemstone we just carried on that weave going a bit further up um, instead of it being a nine, the, the hoop at being a 90 degrees to the top, it's um, a little bit further forward. Um, and then I just played a little bit with the wire afterwards. Perfect. Uh, now, Veronica in Gloucestershire saying, I felt I had to say what beautiful, feminine and delicate jewelry. Gorgeous, just gorgeous. And she should know because people Thank from you. Gloucestershire are quite clever. Uh, <laughs> UTG C71 is the item code uh, for your pliers, your flush cutting pliers. I will be back with some gems of distinction and I'm going to challenge you after this.
Join Jewelry Maker this Mother's Day for some great offers, exciting new strands and a game of Guess Who? Mother's Day on Jewelry Maker. Get involved with Jewelry Maker by sending the studio a message during our live hours. You can send a text to 60777 and start your message with JM Studio or alternatively go to our website and click on watch the live show. Simply type your message into the box and press send. Make sure you stay tuned in case your message is read out. Get interactive with Jewelry Maker. When shopping with Jewelry Maker, you can add as many items to your order in one day and only pay one postage and packaging charge. We have two delivery options. Standard delivery at just £2.95 and you'll receive your parcel within four to six days. Or opt for our premium delivery at just £4.95 and you'll receive your parcel within three to four days. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. If for any reason you're not satisfied, you have the benefit of our no quibble 30 day money back guarantee. Just complete the returns form enclosed with your goods and send them back for a full refund. All of the gemstones on Jewelry Maker are 100% genuine, giving your jewelry designs the beauty and character that only Mother Nature can provide. Carnelian is a striking member of the Chow Sedney family and features warm orange and reddish tones. Treasured throughout history, it's long been used in carvings and cameos. Carnelian is mainly sourced from Japan, Brazil and Uruguay, although the gem has also been discovered in France and even Cornwall in England. Genuine Carnelian Gemstones from Jewelry Maker. When you place your first order with us, you will receive a free booklet and DVD full of handy hints, tips and tutorials to help you get started with your new Jewelry Maker hobby. Moonstone is beautiful. It looks so stunning in bridal jewellery. Its iridescence just makes it such a different gemstone against anything else. When you're putting it into your own jewellery, you can put it in tiaras, you can put it in drop earrings, and it makes those pieces special. One of the most fascinating things about Moonstone is, I think, it's myth and legend. And whether it's a gemstone which is used for fertility or a gemstone which you give to loved ones, it's a fantastic gemstone to own, especially from JM, because of the natural qualities, the rainbow shilling which you get from this amazing gem. And whether it's in nuggets or whether it's really, really highly faceted, whether it's a smaller carat weight or a larger carat weight, you're always guaranteed a superb example of the gem. Welcome back. It's time to inspire you further with some gorgeous gemstones. Uh, a little bit later, I'm going to be doing flush versus ordinary with the old uh, pliers. Not yet, but soon. So if you want to know the difference between the flush cutters and the ordinary uh, wire cutters, we're going, I say we, Teresa's going to do that for you. Right now, it's all about this brand new fluorite. Let's talk about this incredible gemstone that is fluorite. The word fluorescent descends from the gemstone fluorite. Now, fluorite has the ability to fluoresce naturally. If you put this gemstone under a UV light, it will glow with such incredible vibrance. Can't we do that? I'd love to bring in a UV light. I'm going to do it one day. It will glow with the most incredible colour. Now, this is entirely blue fluorite. If you go to, um, if you go to the Natural History Museum in the little rock and gem section, there is some fluorite in there in a UV room. Let's go. Let's go. Have a look, I love that museum. Have a look at this colour. Now this is beautiful again for tiaras and fascinators, isn't it? Don't you think if you graduated it down, can you imagine a crown style tiara with the points upwards, you'd put the points upwards and that would be your tiara. Beautiful petals. All you need to do is draw five of these together to make that wonderful flower. Tie it in a knot or crimp it down, depending on what medium you've used, and it's easy. Look at the clarity. This is simply divine. Have you ever seen a strand of fluorite like this? I see a lot of purple fluorite. I see a lot of banded fluorite. This colour is mesmerising. Now, actually, if you look at some of the world's top jewellers, you know the really expensive ones, and we all can name at least three very expensive jewellers, can't we? If you, uh, we can name Bulgari, I've just lost my earpiece, sorry about that. We can name Bulgari, Tiffany & Co, Cartier, Chopard, Boodles, I mean the list goes on, doesn't it? 
If you are looking for fluorite in a big collection, actually Tiffany Co to mention a lot of others, uh, use a lot of coloured gemstones. They actually absolutely celebrate gemstones, which I love. Uh, Gems TV, we've got some wonderful, wonderful collections on our sister channel. Now, I want you to think about the quality that you see. And if you were to see fluorite in any one of those collections, I think it would be fluorite more on this scale because you've got continual color. You have got that fabulous glow. Now there's a very vintage feel to this color. So it's gonna be really popular to put with your pinks and things like that. Straight away in a necklace, you could do a full set, couldn't you? You could do earrings, pendant and bracelet set. These would look gorgeous in the design that we've just seen by Teresa. These are your drops instead of Carnelian. If you didn't get the Carnelian kit, get yourself on the phone lines for these. They are brand new. You don't have them. You've never had them. We're giving them to you for the first time right now. So get yourself dialing. Remember, it's 1 PMP all day long. If you bought the Wags Y cone, if you bought the flush cutter pliers, if you bought the DVD deal that I gave to you, if you bought the wire twisters, they've sold out now. If you bought the kit, that's sold out now. Then you're going to need this. Look at the colour. It's going to make the most, most incredible difference to your pieces. That is your focal gemstone. That is the colour you've been looking for, maybe, with your something blue for the bride. This is the colour that you've been looking for to go with that dress, that prom dress, that evening gown, that cocktail dress. This is the gemstone that's going to be subtle, powerful and beautiful. There aren't many gemstones that can do all three. H you are you 39 there is definitely a, 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 there is absolutely a fluidity behind these gemstones isn't there really really beautiful very fluid color 80 carats in total there's lots of you wanting this one it's a 16 centimeter strand now i am giving you a brand new strand of very 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 high quality fluorite now I want you to think about how much you think this is going to be. I could justifiably tell you that these are worth every penny of $24.95 and I would not, I would not, I don't think be underselling them. I think you've got such, I'm definitely going to be, I mean, I'm, I'm going to give you a price that does not reflect the beauty of the gemstone. The price you're going to get is not 24.95 i think if i go anywhere below 24.95 am i at risk because i want you to realize how beautiful these are i want you to realize that these should be worth so much more than the price tag i'm going to give to you the only reason we're giving you this price tag is as an introduction to a gems of distinction strand now i'm not going to promise you a price tag like this for any further strands that you've seen that you will see i'm not it's only nine pounds and 95 pence, under 10 pounds. Now, this is a try me price tag. Any future strands of this color, I will never be able to guarantee this price tag, 9.95. You have got to make sure you're checking out your baskets. Well done, Janet and Isabel, Sarah. I knew Ulia would have these because every time I bring you something that looks really, really high end, Ulia is there and she's grabbing them. I can't wait to see. Let me know, Ulia, where do you sell your jewelry? Because you're always buying the most beautiful gemstones. Uh, Sharon, Paul, I've got uh, Rachel in County Durham. Rebecca in Essex is always buying gorgeous gemstones as well. If I say Ulia, if I say Zena, if I say Rebecca in Essex, you know that these are going to be gorgeous. Claire in Suffolk, Carol in East Sussex, Diane in Carmarthenshire, Elizabeth in Devon. I have got so many of you on the lines. Wendy in London, Hilary, hello, Elise. You've been shopping for gorgeousness today. Now, again, you're looking doughy eyed at these trees, aren't they gorgeous? I, I love fluorite anyway, um, just because it does kind of fluoresce I suppose yeah. um, it does kind of the light does bounce the light. off of it it does kind of glow um, but then having kind of the blue as well is just a gorgeous colour for that to be happening with the whole strand as well because we normally see mixtures of colour so it's lovely Teresa to have yeah. the whole strand of that colour we've had lots of text messages coming in uh, we're going to show you one right now uh, Susan, Wendy, Hilary, well done Rebecca 0800 655 is the number to be calling for under £10. Susan, you've got your Xena. I knew it. What did I say? I said if Xena or Ulia are there. Now, Xena is there. Well done, Xena. Do you know what? Zena sent me a lovely box with Jolly Ranchers, Turkish Delight, real Turkish as well, bath products. It was literally like Christmas. I squealed when I opened it. A little lamb, which my son now takes to bed. Oh, I love you, Zena. 
Not a real one, no. <laughs> but although he could have a real one, but we haven't got a name for Ed Lamp. 0800 655 Well done to everybody. Carol, Diane. Told you my, uh, my uncle's had over 200 this season. Marie, well done to you. I have got so many of you grabbing this. Uh, well done. Well done to everybody. This is a brand new strand. I, I've got to tell you, we're now limited. Well done. We are now limited. 9.95. You have got the opportunity to use your credit card or your debit card. Remember, one PMP jewelry maker from Cheshire. Well done to you, uh, Janet and Jane, both from County Durham. County Durham's going to have some lovely jewelry. Karen and Denise are, are grabbing this as well. Let's give you your next strand of brand new and stay on the lines if you're there. Now. I want you to think about the perfect ring strands. This is one of them. Have a look. Straight away with wire work rings. Now what I'm gonna love the most about this strand, I think you are too, is the variant of colors. They're amazing. Do you know what it reminds me of? Patchwork quilt of colors. Have a look. Perfect size for rings, perfect size for cufflinks, perfect size for pendants. They're great for earrings. I'm a big fan of Dallas style earrings and Crystal Carrington used to wear the big, um, the big clip on. Oh, yeah. I love them. I love them. I've always wanted to be. Uh, well, she wasn't Dallas actually. She was Dynasty. I mustn't ever get those two mixed up. I, I know. Terrible. What kind of a fan am I? Now have a look. Have a look. You've got the peaches. What would you do with these ones? Teresa and um, there's so many possibilities you could actually I mean, they're, just, they're big enough if you wanted to kind of just sort of wrap wire over them just um, so you know you kind of keep that dimension as your um, as, as the size it's going to be um, and what and wrap in the middle essentially mm -hmm. um, or you could actually sort of build them up around the outside and kind of you know um, weave a frame, um, wrap yeah, them that way. Absolutely. Um, so they're actually even bigger um, in order to do it. And you've got obviously all the colours. You could either split them up or um, keep them all together. Now I'm seeing so many wonderful colours. Some of them are deep, some of them are very subtle. Now I've got a piece of jewellery that's a similar strand but smaller. That's it, that's the one you had it originally, Scotty. That one, thank you, darling. Um, now have a look at this. Now you could do something very similar. This is the same gemstone, but smaller. Now Linda made this. At, do you see how similar these are? You could make a bigger version. Wouldn't that be perfect? She's a cro she crocheted that wire. That's a perfect look. Yeah. Actually, you could do this and make a matching brooch. You can make, let's see how many brooches, all cufflinks. Cufflinks would be lovely like that, wouldn't they? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 17 rings. If you sold them for five pounds each, what's 17 times five, Scott? You're clever. 17 times five. I don't know, because I failed maths. Oh, you failed maths. <laughs> Darn. 85. Essentially, then, that could be, obviously, take off the price of your wire, 85 pounds. If they're only a fiver. Which, you know, you could charge more. I was just being really, I was just being very conservative. elisa has got these, Liz. Uh, Alicia in uh, Buckinghamshire. Anne, Linda, Karen, Jane. You're all loving these. Michelle, I know that this strand is going to really fly. NNG, P08, you've got 300 carats. Uh, and if you divide that by 17, you'll get the exact carat weight. They are 20 by 6. You know what to do when you see a strand of such varying colours. When you think about the fact that you were going to get supreme, superb value, absolutely beautiful gemstones, so many colours. You've got the gate, you've got that diameter there to really make so many different things. For seven ninety-five, you've got a strand that is for pendants, for rings, for cufflinks, for earrings, for brooches. Versatility is definitely the word. Value for money is absolutely the word. Seven ninety-five. Add it to your order price tag. If you love this gorgeous design, you can recreate it on a larger scale or make a matching brooch in much a similar way. Have a look. Done by Linda. So go and check out that show on YouTube. Uh, Linda Crochet. So the same, the same look, the same shape. But these are bigger the ones I'm giving to you now. $7.95. What a price tag. Make sure you're checking out baskets for this one. I'm gonna give to you so many beautiful pieces. I'm I'm just thinking, wire wrap them. Wire wrap them. They'd be gorgeous wire wrapped. I've got these, I've got these solar quartzes. I'm not sure if these are mine or not. 
I don't, ah, oh, they, can you, right, this reminds me of tie-dye. Mm. Isn't it wonderful? My mum, as you probably know, because I've told you a million times, is a hippie or was a hippie. And this just reminds me of my mum straight away. I look at that and I just think, I just think about my mum. It's funny, isn't it? What does it? She was a right 60s, um, she did all the, she went through every single thing. She was a mod, she was a rocker. I know you should never cross. <laughs> She was, um, she was there on Brighton Beach that day. Uh, she was, I promise you. You asked my mum a million stories. Have a look, have a look at this. I promise you. And, um, but she was, a, she was a hippie as well. She's always been, she's always had that hippie thing about her. Seven, I'd, my mum pretty much is as mad as a box of frogs. Well, I've sent her, so I'm not going to tell her in case she, in, tell you in, in case she, she might have got it already, I'm not sure. Well, I'll tell you what my mum has got, which is going to be the best present for her. My brother's returned from Japan, ready to look after the dog because my sister's about to have a baby. So he's had to come home for the King Charles Spaniel. I've got, <laughs> I've got two sisters. One's a doctor, she's really clever. And, um, and my brother, obviously, golden boy, we like to call him because he's the only boy. He's golden boy, can do no wrong. The boys can do no wrong. <laughs> Now, let me give you, let me give you your green garnet. Have a look. Is this not Zavarite garnet then? I don't think I've seen green garnet that wasn't Zavarite garnet, you know. Isn't it gorgeous? I've never seen it. Look at the detail. Look at the matrix of these. Rings, pendants, and it's January's birth gemstone. Have a look at that. Isn't it gorgeous? Uh, uh, for, me, for me, these are feature gemstones, absolutely. I don't know, would you put them all in one piece? If it was a bib necklace, what about... I mean, they're made to be wire wrapped, Teresa, aren't they? The, they are. Um, and I'm just kind of thinking, looking at them like that, actually. They'd make a really nice uh, bracelet. Um, just put some um, links or something in between. Oh, do you know, you're right. Just like that. Yeah. Maybe gizmo coils in between them. Yeah, yeah, that would look lovely. Look at that, look at that amazing intricacy. It's almost Lord of the Rings here. It's mm. almost a bit ethereal, it's a bit magical. Look, look. Bit of drama behind there, some drum rolls, a bit of operatics. I think it's dramatic, isn't it? Absolutely fantastic, isn't it? Isn't that gorgeous? A bit of Thor, you know? It's, it's that kind <laughs> of thing, isn't it? I love films like that, I do. Have a look. Do you know actual Thor director, Tom? His friend worked, do you know actual Thor? You did not go down the pub with him last <laughs> Friday. I thought he was delicious, wasn't he? Well, I saw the film and I thought, I've seen him somewhere before. Where? I've seen him somewhere before. I know that face, where on earth have I seen him? He used to be in Home and Away. Did he? Chris Hemsworth. Was yeah. he? <sighs> they do not all look like that in Australia, do they? I'm going. No, I'm not. No, I'm happy at home. Have it home. <laughs> He's delish. Mm -hmm. He is, isn't he? Not quite Harrison Ford, but he is delish. Have a look. Yes, Han Solo is the most handsome man in the world, isn't he? Have a look. Have a look at what we've got. Now, jewellery maker Tom was doing Star Wars origami last night. Let's, let's talk about <laughs> these green guns before we... Do you know what? It, but it, it is making us feel of... Think about fantasy films and, and all of that colour. It's dramatic. It's very dramatic. Think about wire working. What have you done that uh, other people might find strange? Text us in. RJR U50, 130 carats. Let me count them for you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight of them. I'd like to see your paper origami, please. Are you ready? I'd like to see your origami producer, Tom, director Tom. Eleven pounds and ninety-five pence. Unbelievable! What are you going to do with these? They are gems of distinction. They're green garnet. Do you know what the point is? I haven't got any green garnet. I need it. I can't bear not having things. Can you? They're going to go so well with the solar quartz. Those luscious purple solar quartz. Look at that colour. Look at that colour, it's fantastic. Purple and green, very Wimbledon. Are we going to be getting behind Wimbledon? Absolutely, we are. Absolutely. Now, uh, 
My producer Martha was in Australia when we won it for the first time ever. Have a look. Have a look at this. Whereabouts in Australia were you, Martha, please? For the purpose. Oh, Byron Bay. Everyone goes there, don't they, Byron Bay? My auntie's got a farm in Cairns. Yes, it's lovely there, isn't it? Now, let's go. Anyway, enough of that. Can we do these now? Can we? She's not going to let me. No. Now, I, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to give you everything for under £10 right now. It's happening now. I'm going to give to you, first of all, let's start. Oh, let, can we do these now? The shell beads in 26, I've got them in. Now, I want to show you. I want to show you these. You know, I was talking about that car earlier that my dad did for Paul McCartney. The, this exact design is in the centre. This exact shell design, but in leather. Have a look. Now, I need my tweezers, if I may. Have a look at what you've got. Now, this also remind, these also remind me of 1920s microphones. And you know how 1920s stages would have these covering the lights? Do you know what I mean? Ah, yes. You've pressed the wrong button. These are not 6 Two pounds? 32 each. They're sterling silver with nine carat gold overlay. They're absolutely gorgeous. You're going to get silver, sorry. I've got the gold here. They're beautiful. They are drill hold. Aren't these lovely? What would they be for you? I think I'd put them on a wire work piece going up. Kind of, maybe I did, aren't they lovely? I love these. Yours will be silver, these are gold. Yours will be silver, like that. Aren't they fab? I like, do you love them? Yeah. I love those. Everybody's liking these. Kaz is liking these. They're very 19, do you, do you think they're 1920? I, I just, I've got that thing, I think shells, like this kind of design, the fanning and all of that lot. Yeah, I know what you mean, yeah. Especially if you did kind of row them up, so they were all kind of the same way. I love them. Would you put chain from them? I'd put an eye pin at the bottom of there and put a load of chain coming from them. What would you yeah, do? You could do. Um, what do you think you would do with them? I, I think um, I, if I could find a, a, a bead that sort of worked with them as well, I'd probably have them. I mean, maybe a bead, then them, and then the chain. Yes. Um, I think they're super intricate. They're only six pounds and 95 pence. I'm sorry that I don't have the right color here. I am sorry about that. I've got wrong color. Now, have I? Because they could be in here. No, I haven't. I've got them. They were just on the side, right there. I have got them. I've got them in silver here. I know I had both colors. Both colors were there. But you're getting silver. Here they are, live. We're confused, aren't we? Six ninety-five. That's what you're getting, my darlings. It's all. Do you know they're puffy as well? Sorry about that. Um, but they are th sort of three-dimensional. If that makes sense, they're not flat. Is what I'm trying to say. They are like those yummy chocolates, aren't they? Or if you're doing something a bit mermaidial, what about a mer mermaid's tail? Helion. That was the. Uh, I didn't say the word. I just went. Mur, mur. <laughs> Other chocolates are available, such as those nutty ones. I love those. The ones with the nuts on the outside, chocolate, bite in, bit of rice papery stuff. I don't know what it is, wafer, inside nut. Oh. Now, now, let's see, let's go to. Can we do the solar quartz now, can we? Sorry, everybody, it's, a, it's the, my brain working slowly. Now, let's, let's give you what I think are tie dyeable. Now these are ace, aren't they, Teresa? Yeah. yeah. Uh, and actually those shell shapes would work quite nice. The shell with shapes that. with these, in which colour? Yeah. Um, Gold, I reckon. Either, yeah. Both. <laughs> Both? Which way up? Fan up or fan down? Uh, let's see, I think that, yeah, that way, but coming out of both sides, so you kind of got the, the strand kind of coming. Oh, so that way, so like a, almost bowed. So, oh, yeah. yeah. 
Do you know what? These are quite unlike anything else we have. Solar quartz basically has a core to it. So that little core and then you can the quartz is built up in layers over and over and over and you can see that this is is, is dyed the most amazing purple do you know what this is going to go beautifully with your peridot isn't it just like i've got some peridot on my um hand there but it's just beautiful this is very easter very very easter isn't it and they're graduated now i think these are going to sell out look at that look at that in the middle isn't that do you know what I just want you to get really close to that. Have you ever seen one of those big, you know those big globey type balls and if you put your hand on it, the electric goes zzz. Oh, the plasma, what are they called? plasma balls. Yeah, yeah, plasma yeah. balls. That's what it's reminding me of. Is it you? I, I love that. They're like the irises of a beautiful eye. Do you know what? It could be a bit of an Egyptian eye actually, couldn't it? Do you think? So many of you loving this. Now, there, it is going under £10. Everything I'm giving you is going under £10. There are so many of you there. Please uh, let me know what are you going to do with this. A really individual strand. I've never seen anything like this before. Maybe you've, you, you've seen solar quartz before. Look at that colour. It is like tie-dye, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. Now, my producer is just telling me she thinks that solar quartz is gonna beat Labradorite this year for your favorite gemstone because every time we bring it to your screen, it goes, goes, goes so quickly. Uh, Martha can't say Labradorite. What do you call it? Labradorite. Labradorite. Just say Labradoodle. Labradoodle. Pat, Tina, Alicia, Suze, Gloria, Pat, Cherry, Gillian, uh, Amanda, Denise, Lynn, Elise. Elise, you are shopping for gorgeousness. Julie in Nottinghamshire, Julie in Sussex, Sue and Jan. Ulia's got them. Ulia's got them. Gillian, Heather, Veronica, Marina. Uh, I have got Frankie and Barbara, Margaret, Stephen, Veronica. I have, oh, Veronica's got two. Veronica's got two. Linda's got hers as well. Uh, Magdalene, you are are shopping for this OAV XT20 an 18 centimeter strand for nine pounds and 95 pence this one's gonna sell out I think have a look it's brand new you've never seen it before I didn't know that Rebecca in Essex has got these any minute now I, I reckon I'm gonna see the name of Xena popping up Willow's got hers Vander in Gloucestershire Stephanie in Cambridgeshire I've got you know Rebecca in Essex has got the Nicholas hello Nicholas uh, I have got Sue Lynn and um, I have got Got so many of you. Annie and George. George is my brother's name. I like you. Uh, Catherine from Belfast. Hello to you, Susan in Lincolnshire. And I've got Sheila in Nottinghamshire. I've got a jewelry maker in Kent. Jane. Rosemary in Devon. Gillian in Devon as well. I've got Cherry in Hampshire. I've got Jacqueline in Sussex. Zena in Greater <laughs> London. I knew. <laughs> It's like I can, it's like I've almost no. I look at gemstones now and I go, yeah, Ulia will have that. Zena will have it as well. Rebecca and Essex will take that too. I'm getting to know that yeah, the gemstones, I think, getting to know you, getting to know all about you. Sorry. Sorry, it sold out in a con. $9.95 was your price tag, but they've gone. Oh, they've gone. Oh, oh gosh. Got an itchy ear. Now, let me see. Mm -hmm. Yesterday I was dressed like a bit of a pyrite and I wanted these. I had a bit of a pyrite top on. Look at these. And then uh, we went out to dinner and I ended up, um, do you know, my daughter yesterday got 100% in two Spanish tests. Oh, I wow. don't know how I've done it. I definitely picked up the wrong child. If you're watching <laughs> Mia, she already knows it. I mean, she doesn't look anything like me and she's got brains. She does not look anything like me. She's, she's not, she's, she's gorgeous. She doesn't look like me. My, the boy, however, exactly like me. Have a look at this. The boy, we call him <laughs> the boy. The boy, have a look, have a look at this. Isn't it gorgeous? Isn't it just gore? Just, I love pyrite, I love it. Do you know, I've loved it since I was little. I once went to Wales and dug for fool's gold and I've loved it ever since. I love it, I have the little piece of it. Just look, in fact, my director Tom, his girlfriend, went panning for gold and it was this uh, fool's gold you got. It's, now, now, if you've never done that in Wales, you must go, you must do it. Have a look at these and think about the fact 
They are perfect for the bead loom. They're cubes. They're great for the ladder stitch. They're wonderful for soutache. They're perfect for earrings. I love, I love squares. And do you know what? They're soft edges on these squares. They're not too harsh. So that, that you don't look at it and, and think, oh, you're not frightened of using them. If you've never used a cube before, you won't be frightened of using these. What do you think, Teresa? They're lovely. They go with your dress as well. Do you think? Yeah. Do they? I need them. Yeah. What would you make out of them? <laughs> um, it's not, not my normal sort of um, genre. Um, a cube or a pyrite? But, um, well, no. And I was just kind of thinking macrame. I mean, macrame would be Oh, sorry. Brilliant. You were tight. Right. Yeah. yeah. So you would shambala these? I, I'd, yeah. I'd be very tempted to have a go. Just because if, if it being a square, it just kind of gives it a little bit of a different um, look. Um, but uh, yeah, they are absolutely gorgeous. Aren't they gorgeous? Yeah. Um, to, you know, macrame is, is such a wonderful medium. Yesterday we saw some very elegant pieces. We've seen Mark do some very elegant pieces as well. Um, and you are just obviously really intricate, really elegant jewellery. So I'd love to see you do a bit of that. Yeah, I do do a little bit of macrame, but I can't really compete with Mark. So... <laughs> now get yourself on the phone line she get, listen you're all wonderful in all different ways every <laughs> single one of you 350 carats they're only six night now let's let's just think about this you've got a nice solid solid gemstone here so this is going to give your jewelry some weight when you pick up a piece of jewelry and it's weighty do you feel that it feels a bit more expensive because i certainly do I do. Well, pyrite's going to give you that. You've got that antique gilding look again. You've got this wonderful British racing green, followed by fabulous purples. It's mystical, beautiful. Have you, you know a peacock? You know the green in a peacock, like a tropical fish, says Martha. Beautiful, like the little minnows. I love this strand, I really do. Uh, AJG P24, 350 carats. And again, this is gonna be great for prom style jewelry. If you are creating prom style pieces, I want to know about it, I wanna see them. We want a picture of your little prom princesses in their prom pieces, wouldn't it be lovely? Absolutely beautiful. May balls, yes, spring balls are coming up. Spring break, you're saying. <laughs> Not anymore, Scott, you're old now. You don't go to school anymore. <laughs> I'm sorry to slap you in the face with reality, but there is no six weeks holiday in this place. So now, let's go. Where should we go next? Number 13, Fossil Jasper. Now, Fossil Jasper is going to amaze you. If you're the sort of person that loves gemstones because they're real, you look and you see layers and patterns, you love agate because of it, you love labradorite because you know it's made up of layers and it's the refraction. Do you know what, I love fossils. I love the fact that, and actually it's, it's about nature, isn't it? When you look at this strand, there is no mistaking, you can see coral fossils in here and it's so, Fabulous. Now these are wonderful if you've got the Makes for Men DVD because men tend to like things like this as well. I mean, I do, I do. I'm a complete tomboy, as you know. But I love fossils. I think they're, so, look, at look, get really close to these. These aren't, now, do you remember, you know Debbie Kershaw? You know jewellery makers Debbie Kershaw? She actually thought these were printed on. And she said, I thought it was like Tiger's Eye. They're not real tiger's eyes they look like she thought these were looked like fossils but no and I said to her no they're real and she went I need them just like that they are real fossils that's fossilized coral you're seeing there and isn't it wonderful every single piece will be different because as we know no two fossils are the same you've got different tones you've got different look at that look these are larger and you can feel the fossil in these by the way they are fabulous every single one cufflinks they're gonna go great with your leather have you got your leather leather will run through those beautifully now i can see teresa again you'll go in <laughs> i like these i like these what are you going to do why do you love well, them so it, much it's funny because when um we were talking about the uh, solar quartz earlier on um i was going to mention this as well I, I love gemstones that kind of show what they are yeah speak of what they are um but particularly with something like this um anybody that's um, done a craft fair um, will know precisely what I'm talking about. Um, you'll have um, a lady coming along um, looking at the gemstones and usually about three paces behind will be a husband or a partner. Yeah. Um, generally there I think to carry bags and that sort of stuff. Absolutely that's what um, we get married yeah. for. Um, it, it just makes me like it, it's, it's such a stereotype but 
it just Let's happens every time. <laughs> yeah. um, but it's really nice to have something on the store to actually be able to engage him and say, look, fossils. Um, so yeah, and they do tend to, you know, their eyes light up. It's like, finally, something I can understand. Um. <laughs> yeah, they do. And then, and, then, yeah. and then obviously that lady customer thinks, oh, I can buy these because he'll appreciate it. You know, yeah. when they start to take interest. I mean, I'm blessed in the way that my um, my partner loves shopping and he loves buying shoes for me and dresses and stuff. It's, oh, I don't know where I got them from. Yeah. I know, wonderful. <laughs> he is fashion mad. Yeah. Now these are wonderful and you love them too. Carol and Barbara Graham, you like a fossil. VH, Elise, Emma, Deborah. Uh, now these are real fossils, fossilized, Vander in Gloucestershire's here, uh, fossilized coral in a strand, drill hold, perfect for cufflinks, perfect for rings, perfect for just putting on a piece of leather. Chaps are definitely wearing more and more jewelry, aren't they? BHG P88, I have got Barbara in Cumbria, down in Lanarkshire, Lurlin in London, I love the name Lurlin. 9.95, let me count them for you. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 of these. You can make your surfer duty kind of pieces, but you can also make these a lot more adult. You can also make these feminine, of course you can. With a bit of antique bronze wire, these are gonna make a beautiful brooch. And you know what, they're earthy, they're such a neutral tone, aren't they? Gorgeous. Frame them with seedy beads, they look gorgeous. <gasps> Sudash. Absolutely. Buttons on your blazer. Don't, do you know, gemstone buttons are definitely, I'm, I'm moving towards embellishing costume with, jewel, with gemstones. Yeah. I think it's something we need to do on a show one day. Uh, it, it could be called the fusion of, I'll think about that, the fusion show. I, I'll think about that. Obviously, Ready Steady Make is still on the boiler. 9.95 is your price tag for these. Now, where do we go next? Because everything's going to be under £10. I'm going to give to you. I was going for these because uh, I need them. <laughs> they will go with the dress that I need to iron. Have a look. Have a look at this. Faceted hearts. Hearts are always big sellers, aren't they? Now, now, actually, Teresa, you talk to me from your experience. We hear from Mark all the time saying, hearts, flowers, stars, biggest sellers. You do sell your jewelry yeah. at craft fairs. You were just talking about it. These are so pretty. Yeah. Would yeah. they go in your collection? Oh yeah. Um, I mean, I think particularly. Um, I mean, I have um, quite a Mark style um, board with all of my earrings on it, um, and having um, earrings with the hearts in, it's going to make people kind of stop and look and, you know, think, oh, that's actually something different um different shape different sort of idea um but yeah they are, they do love them um and i actually quite like whilst you always think of them kind of sing singly um i quite like rowing them up so you've got a lot in one piece absolutely yeah. um, and i think putting them in big drop earrings and i think putting them in as pendants on their own is great as well just with a yeah. head pin with a heart a little pendant how much is a locket because there's do you know i went to buy my daughter a locket I'm talking about my daughter a lot today um do you know they're so expensive just for a little silver locket on the high street they're so expensive they're like 40 pounds just for the pendant without the chain that's not one that you know heart speaks of sentiment doesn't it a heart says i love you a heart in this color do you know just such a wonderful color it goes beautifully with rose quartz it just looks stunning it goes beautifully with antique gold uh, wire did you get the barrel strand because look at the pink that barrel doesn't it look wonderful with that just seen if I've got any rose quartz and I unfortunately don't have any to hand I'll tell you what I have no I'll tell you what it will go with really nicely with this pink with the O's aren't they gorgeous now Gemma Crow made a ring with those and I've also got do you know what it'll go beautifully it will go beautifully with the amethyst look gorgeous Go it, do you know actually if you bought the solar quartz so anybody who bought the solar quartz I think that's a lovely duo isn't it isn't it gorgeous? Let's see, because you know what? If you bought the fluorite, which is, I think it might have sold out. Look at that. They're just made for each other. Mixed gemstones, great with pearls, white pearls, lovely with white pearls. ADG P60, you know they're going under 10 pounds. Hasn't today flown by? They're 10 mil, they're under 10 pounds. You need them. Earrings, rings, cufflinks. 
pendants, definitely bracelets, absolutely loads of ideas, and they're faceted, and they're a gorgeous colour, and you need them. Oh, oh and they, you know what? They could be petals for flowers as well. And they could be wings. They could be little fairy wings if you're making little wirework fairies. They would be gorgeous with that. Let's do that amethyst, shall we? Now, are you a fan? Teresa, I don't really know what your favourite gemstones are yet because this is the first time we've ever worked together. What are your favourite gemstones? And, and is amethyst one of them? Um, I think it is just because of everybody knows it. Um, everybody kind of feels like they understand it. They're familiar with it. They're happy yeah. it's comfortable. Um, but it does actually go with, you know, all skin tones um, and a lot of other colours of gemstones as, as well um, so it's quite a versatile one um, so yeah I, I do I do love it I think you're right It'd go with that carnelian that you had in your first mm. kit in the gold but it will also go with totally different tones like that totally different tones I think you've got versatility now you like a smaller delicate gemstone like this so what would you do with these um, I think I have had some before and I can't remember what I did with them now. Um, so long ago. Uh, I, I, I really do quite like the um, the rectangles. Um, do like them in bracelets actually. Me too. Um, just because they sit so nicely um, around the wrist. Mm -hmm. um, but actually breaking them up, um, having links in between, you don't need to kind of have them right next to each other. It's quite nice. Um, and mixing them up with rounds is really nice as well. Bit of a gizmo coil separator would be nice yeah. too. I think gold, silver, all the wire colours work with it, don't they? Yeah. I think the purple, well, actually, I think this, the, amethyst goes with everybody's skin tone. I don't think hair colour, skin tone comes into it with amethyst. I think yeah. no matter what colour hair you've got, no matter what colour skin you've got, it will work very well with anybody's tones. And like you said, Teresa, everybody recognises amethyst straight away. It's one of those household name gemstones, isn't it? AGG P2210 carats, they're 10 by 8 and they're going under £10 as you know. They're only 9 95 use your debit card or your credit card to come shopping with us here today. A lovely shape to bead loom, isn't it? If you've got your bead loom yesterday, gorgeous for that. Great for Shambhala, great for macrame or macrame, depending on where you're shopping from. But wonderful for your, actually wonderful for your vintage pieces as well. Rachel Norris uses a lot of um, uses a lot of amethyst with gold, and it looks gorgeous. Rachel Norris is going to be with us in a couple of weeks, by the way. Woohoo! In April, she's coming to the building on on a live show. Yeah, I think so. I'm definitely doing a DVD with her. I'm sure she's doing a show with me too. Oh uh, eight hundred six triple four six double five. Now let's give to you. Sorry, Tom, I just took that. Now, um, I asked Martha if we could do earring findings today because I like to wear these and I do like a dangler. Have a look. I love a shoulder dust. Now, Mark did these. They're amazing, aren't they? Look. But it's the findings. If you've got the right findings, you can create looks like this. Now, you can't recreate. Now, you, you might be able to recreate loops if you've got Gemma Crow's... Um, DVD with the fabulous findings but you can't recreate out of wire I don't think well not easily anyway anything like this this reminds me of you know when a peacock sits down on a perch and the feathers drop down below when they're perched for some reason this reminds me of the <laughs> just in case you don't know what perch means <laughs> this reminds me of that and I just want to put the tail down there do you here's the little peacock's gonna be here and it just reminds me of that. I don't know why I'm a little bit peacock obsessed. I would love a peacock. I'm not allowed one because they make that noise. Yes, I know. But we do have a peacock in the road and I do keep enticing him. It's, he's on our road. He's not, he's not, um, he's just, he's just one of them generic peacocks, you know, that just happen to be around a lot. I think that might be a lady peacock. I've got two owls though. Keep forgetting to tell you about the two owls. Have a look. They call each other at night time at exactly the same time every night. It's true. They, they, one's in the tree by Mia's room and one's in the tree by mine and they go hoo 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 at each other all night. <laughs> it's not my kids, no, because they're like, the owls are keeping me awake again. They do keep you awake, but they're cute. Have a look, anyway. Have a look at these. They are so intricate. Now you don't have to use these for earrings. Do you know what else they're great for? Have you ever wanted to do a four strand uh, in your pearls? 
you can actually nip these off if you want to and do a four strand necklace and they just look amazing really beautiful i love stranded pearls what about you teresa do you tend to use findings for other other reasons or do you stick to the uh, to the to the design method um I, I quite like to sort of think about how else um i might use them i suppose partly being here um yeah. just gives a bit of a because you want to do idea. fresh things all the time yeah yeah so i do tend to have a little bit of a play with with them um but yeah i mean I, i'd be tempted to use all of the um all of the loops on them in a necklace and just see how things sat um it might be a case of some of the strands actually kind of sitting over other strands yeah so the ones at the top are a little bit longer and then come over the top now these are so intricate so pretty aren't they mm. could i charge a bit more if i i'm going to put sterling silver into my pieces oh yeah definitely and i think it, it as well as the um the kind of the higher price point that it it commands um it's also nice to have sterling silver on a on a stall or in your um mm. in your portfolio really um because i think it sort of says a little bit more about i'm a, you know i'm a proper jewelry maker i have got sterling silver there i can do the higher higher end pieces um and what i tend to offer is um stuff in base metals in um in standard wire and and so on and so forth um and then if people want that design um to do it on commission um in the um, the precious metals um so yeah always having um sterling silver around is always always good um, so have a stash of sterling yeah. silver in case those commissions come up and you know you can create there's nothing worse than having to say the worst thing you can say to a customer is no isn't it mm. i think so too let's give you a price tag they are going under 10 pounds o-r-y l-o-8 sterling silver fancy earring fact they're only 6.95 double buy two of these absolutely buy two why not absolutely 6.95 you've got a 30-day money-back guarantee what a fabulous deal now I'm going to give to you some rosa golda. Now, this is the mini version, I think, of the ones. Yeah, now look, you get four of these. These are the ones that created my earrings, but in a smaller version. Oh, I've got I'm one down. No, I'm not. Here we are. <laughs> right, now have a look. These are sterling silver with rose gold. I love these findings so much. I love, you know, I love so much earrings big dangly earrings let's have a look again at mine i've got the larger version in my ears and you can create something like this so i've got the larger version you can create the same design but a little bit smaller if you want mark um mark shows on youtube if you check that out they're beautiful aren't they absolutely beautiful now you have nine loops on the bottom you then have a, a middle loop and a top loop. Is that right there? One, two, three, four. Yeah, nine loops on the bottom. So actually you've got 11 loops in total because you've got these two here. You can use this to dangle another gemstone to attach something. You could have a nine stranded necklace. Nine strands of teeny tiny rondelles running from one another looks beautiful as a little feature center point in a necklace. Then maybe you want some matching earrings. You get two pairs of these or four individual findings. So whatever you're gonna use them for, it's gonna look beautiful. Rose gold, sterling silver, and they're going under 10 pounds. 7.95 four pounds a pair this never happens four pounds a pair where else could you get findings like this how much do you pay for one pair of shep hang, hang on a minute how much do you pay for a pair of shepherd's hooks in a craft store look at that price tag on your screen have you ever bought sterling silver shepherd's hooks a pair of them in a crafty store before before jewelry maker or if you've needed them um i, I haven't but i know there'd be more than that isn't that a wonderful yeah. is it because you just thought oh they'd be too expensive like or you couldn't get hold of them or um yeah well yeah both of those yeah 7.95 7.95 the price tag you are seeing is incredible i am going to give you a flush cutter versus normal cutter we have not forgotten those we're going to give you another strand and then we'll do flush versus non-flush <laughs> now to flush or not to flush? <laughs> that is the question. I say always flush. What do you say? I would always flush. 
Now, are you a flusher? Yes. Kaz, Kaz is a flusher. What about you, Scott? Are you a flusher? Of course. Of course, of course, he says. <laughs> now, hand carved roses going under £10. Need. Look. That's how clumsy I am. Did you see that? I didn't even breathe. <laughs> Over it went. Some days, I know I've got feet because they've been there for 34 <laughs> years. I know they're at the end of my feet, uh, at the end of my legs. I know they're there. Every time I get out of bed, I trip over them. Why? Why? Because I'm such a klutz. My daughter is the same. The only reason I know that she's my authentic child is because she does the same. Have a look. Have a look at these. Aren't they fabulous? They remind me of the Queen of Hearts. They remind me of um, Alice in Wonderland when she goes to the Rose Garden. Yeah. Off with her head! Look at them, aren't they fabulous? You could, do you know what I would do with these? Just make a little bouquet of wirework roses. A wirework bouquet. Now, these are great across the bottom of a hair comb. These are wonderful in the hair. Do you love these, Teresa? Yeah. Where would you put them? Yeah, I'm I was just looking at that one on the end there, that sort of pale one. Oh, this one here, the yeah. white rose. Yeah, I just quite like the rose the, white. different um, different colours in there. So you could actually have a, a cluster just in different kind of shades as well. Um, oh, I love them. You've got yellow, yeah. ro yellow roses are my favourite flowers in the whole world. I'm just saying that in case my children are listening. <laughs> yellow roses, mummy likes yellow roses. Now, they're my favourites. I love, I love roses. I just think they're so beautiful, aren't they? And oh, they're so fragrant, they are. There's so many different breeds of rose. Look at these. I don't know what breed these would be because I'm not that clever, <laughs> but these would also be great to print on uh, to polymer clay and get that impression, wouldn't they? You could make moulds out of these if you've got your cloud clay and replicate yeah. them. Yeah, you could. Um, and then have different colours in between. Or actually, either wire work, polymer clay, some other um, medium to Gold make little wire. leaves um, to go in between them. So Gold leaves. Leaves, leaves yeah. in between them. Yeah. They're gorgeous, aren't they? OXG P48. I'm going to quickly give you your uh, price tag. Now, they're not supposed to go this low, but they are because we love you. Six pounds, 95 pence. Let's go over to see to flush or not to flush. That is the question. I'm going to just pull my dress down because we're talking about the flush cutters. 29 pounds and 95 pence. Oh. <laughs> my direct right the reason i went oh is because martha's going no 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 dressage walk walk dressage <laughs> which is why i went like that dressage hands now it's good to know you're well trained though <laughs> yeah she's like a what's it called the circus man what's it called ringmaster. the ringmaster that's what she is big whip and she keeps us all in cages now she does and she throws a steak at us when we're hungry uh, now to flush or not to flush right why do I need these flush cutters? Twenty nine ninety five. Very, very limited on the flush cutters. I'm talking to you about these gorgeous things here. They are made in Italy, which means they're brilliant, doesn't it? Oh, they well, are no. lovely. I mean, not. I mean, Italy. We know part of the EU. You have to comply with so many manufacturing laws. We know the quality is superior. From Beadalon, a wonderful company, jewelry maker specific, and they're flush cutting. Now we've still got enough left for you to come on the phones quickly. Oh eight hundred six triple four six double five. But we are very limited. A lot of you have bought these today. They're twenty nine ninety five. Now, for twenty nine ninety five, why are they incredible value for money? Um, because they'll give you that absolutely um, straight cut flush, um, and because they can get into the, the tighter spaces to be able to get um, the cut close to um, any um, of the other wires um, or exactly where you're wanting to cut. Um, you're not compromising and leaving that little bit. Um, so yeah, always always useful. I mean, Tom, there's a, a rose like the rose on our um, strand called an amber flush, which, uh, which is obviously a seamless link from Martha <laughs> there. Thank you, Martha. Now, um, now, to flush or not to flush, if we can show not flush yeah. versus flush. Yeah. I was looking for some 1.5 wire. I couldn't find any. This is 1.25. Okay. So it's a bit bigger, so it might show you just a little bit, um, little bit more. Um, so these are your standard... Um, cutters your standard cutters which is still toolkit. great um i'm going to cut a little bit low because then i'll use this one for the, the others so this um, is not flush so this is the the cut 
from a non flush. So, so there's an angle on that. Slightly. That's the non flush. Um, you can see, I think. Oh, it's a bit. Got a bit of a. Oh, it's actually, got a, it a can dint down the, the side. Hasn't it? I'll, I'll raise it up again. <laughs> Okay. I wish I'd found the silver, silver 1.25. So can we show and show them, be able um, to show them next yeah. to each other? So then if now I to use flush. this one, um, obviously with the, the flush bit, yeah. um, flush side, uh, as straight as I can make it. These are flush us. <laughs> so that's the, the less flush Less effort. Hang on, you didn't have, there was less no, welly oh, there. Yeah, yeah less there welly. is. Um, I'm just trying to turn that one around to find where the, the point is. Um, so this one's not flush and this one's flush. You can certainly see the difference, can't you? If you need that clean line, if it, the, the most important thing is you can feel the difference. Look at that, look at that clean line. See that line. You can yeah. see that, it's absolutely wonderful. Now if you want to create comfortable pieces of, uh, if you've got a beautiful wire work piece that's gonna sit close to the skin, whether it's a ring or whether it's a bib style necklace, mm. and you get that scratch, it's not gonna be worn. No, you're just no. not going to wear it. I mean, normally I'll, I'll cut the the biggest wires. I will cut flush, but then I will kind of turn. Um, but actually, feeling these, you can feel the burr on that one. It will catch. That's the the standard. Uh -huh. um, this one actually, it feels quite smooth. Anyway, I haven't done any rounding or anything with that. Um, it's quite smooth already. You wouldn't worry too much about that actually being close to the skin. If you are really really into your wire work and you want the professional finish, you need the professional tool at £29.95, pence. Uh, you need to be quick. Rachel Norris has sent us a text. I think she got a text, has she? Hello, Rachel Norris, I love you in Devon. Rachel Norris is saying, Rachel Norris is not saying that. She's saying this. I am Jenny. She's not Jenny, she's not, she's Rachel. Uh, she means she is gonna be doing a show with me. April the 12th, woo! Love Teresa's beautiful creations. What a lovely afternoon watching both of you. Kiss, 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 Rachel Norris. A big kiss back to you. I've still got your hair dryer, I know, I know I have. Uh, now, Rachel Norris, have you got your flush cutters? I want you to tell everybody how wonderful they are and how much needed they are. I know that she's got her twisted t uh, tools. Now, um, now a little birdie is coming in, a very petite, beautiful little birdie is coming in, fluttering. She smells like coconut. I, we don't have scratch and sniff TV yet, but I wish we did. If you were scratching, you would be smelling coconut. Let's see, look at her, breezing in. <laughs> oh, lovely rose dress. Definitely a floral theme to today's show. Um, thank you so much, Teresa. You've been amazing oh, today. I'm you. so inspired and so, so many of you. Um, so a massive thanks to you. We are gonna hand you over to the luscious Lady Defoy, the Lady Gaga of Jewelry Maker. Put your chocolates down again. As if you eat chocolate. <laughs> anyway, look at you. Come on. What are you up to? Hello. 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 Hi. Have you seen this? Well, <gasps> look at that. Look. Mm -mm. My favourite colours, peaches and pinks and orange. These are, what's this from? It's from a kit we had earlier. What it's kit? nearly what sold kit? out. Is it? Yeah, we've still only got a few of those available. Uh, it was called Golden Sunset. Isn't it beautiful? Oh, I want one. I know. These We're are all going to steal. How did you, I've you stolen did that? this. Yeah. Mm. Oh, that's what it it's matches about. your dress. I love it. Love a bit of peridot. Oh. Anyway, it's not about me, it's about you. <gasps> You've made a ring. Well, no, I didn't actually. Did you make that? No, oh, I made didn't it? make that. You Rosanna it. and Susan, our beading buddies, made oh, that. Wonderful. Is that why Danny was looking yellow for Rosanna? Sapphire, so like, yes. <gasps> yellow sapphires. A whole 15 oh my carat, gosh. a whole strand. Mm -hmm. I'm very excited. Yellow sapphires are really excited. expensive in that designer. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Breakfast at. Mm, well, I was having a look at um, someone. Oh, I'm just going to say his name, Theo Fennell, British yeah. designer. He's done a beautiful lion pinned. I don't know why I'm drawing around my face, but a lion pinned. A lion. Out. That <laughs> lion pinned. It's a lion here today. That's the inspiration for my hair today. Oh, yeah. Um, it's a lion pinned and out of sapphires. It's beautiful. <gasps> I'm going to show it to you actually throughout the show because it's, it's just gorgeous. And you've got Last and Chance Saloon. Yeah. Last Chance Saloon. Oh, no, stop. You've got the hematite hearts. In part of a matrix box. Stop That's everything. All Stop everything. Matrix box. Do you know how many people ask me for those hematite hearts? You've got hematite hearts and stars. 
Mm -hmm. The hematite stars are coming up for you in Ali's show. We have all been waiting for those of you who've got the star head pins. You need the hematite stars. They're amazing. You can watch Ali on all the w's.jurymaker.com or you can stay to uh, Sky 655. Do not go anywhere. They're coming up for you. Everybody's been asking for these. We've got a whole mate box with everything so on that strand I need it. in the I need, box. What time Even are you doing it? Will I be at home and the hearts. <gasps> It's coming up in the 8 o'clock hour. Half past You've got eight. little beehives. Yeah, we've got the the beehives. beehives and we've got balls and we've got the little... Um, Grey quarters, we've got it all. <gasps> all everything on that I stand that. was made from this massive matrix box. It launches tonight. Oh my gosh, please mm. reserve me mm -hmm. one. I love it. I'm going to give you that try. back. And I'm going to hand on. you over to Lady DeFoy, who is mm. literally Gaga. Uh, you need to stay tuned if you want that. What does that Gaga mean? We're just, well, you know, just Gaga. Just Gaga. <laughs> right, get out of here. Get out I'm of gonna here. I'm going to go Gaga. I'm giving everything back. What are you talking You've about? Got it. I'll go all back. I'm going to all back. I'm going to all back. I would steal her, but she's unstealable. Well, actually, depends what you've got to offer. That lemon drizzle Woo! cake was really nice. Um, apparently, we weren't supposed to eat that. Le the, didn't eat the cake. Still loads left. If you count like a third of the cake loads. Uh, would you like to see the highlights of tonight's show? This is all coming up. Our amethyst is for you tonight. Mm -mm -mm. It's a brand new strand. All pear shapes for you. They are dreamy as you like. Kerry's you've back got on holiday. Kerry is back on holiday. holiday. <laughs> Kerry got her hair done. You don't see, she's gone blonde. She, she remembers you're back on holiday, but she didn't realise that you guys changed her hairdo. Um, we've got for you, oh, well it's gone. But you know, you know a lot of what's coming up tonight. Yellow Sapphire is our super duper, super treat for you. This, so Yellow Sapphire, uh, is, Sapphire sorry, is, is, a, is coming up as my superstar buy at 8.50 p.m. Keep your eyes peeled. There's only 100 of them. That's all we have in the entire building. This, is the Matrix collection which incorporates your hematite stars and hematite hearts. It's phenomenal. Regular viewers, you, um, in fact, it's going to be at 8 pm. I'm sorry, Jenny, you've got less time to get home and get it. Presenter Jenny, of course, who will be back with us tomorrow. Yay! So this is all one massive box. I have to be honest, the only reason we have this is because I went into our manager, our channel manager's office, and said, oh, Oh, that's amazing. Oh, when, when is that launching? And she said, oh, I've not decided yet. It's going to be at the weekend. And I said, oh, oh, I've got some cake here. It'd be really good if that launched on Saturday night with me. And she said, oh, I love that cake. And then she totally, totally put it in the show. Not that I told you that. Mm -hmm. um, lots and lots, we've got a brand new kit for you actually, a whole kit, this is lovely. A kit offers you the opportunity with all your findings, sorry, regular viewers, I know you know this, but if you're a new viewer, offers you all the opportunity for, for strands that go together perfectly. This is called our wonderful Spots and Stripes bundle, this is our kit should I say. We get all the findings you would normally want as well as beading thread, wire, elastic, um, monofilament for you all coming up in one lovely, lovely kit. This will be at oh, six, six o'clock hour, a bit, half past six we'll do this one for you. Seven o'clock, my apologies, my, my um, chocolate sweeties were over the top of it. <laughs> so I couldn't take the time. Lord, I'm full of colour. Have you ever had, ever, ever in your puff, a 20 strand bundle? Producer Danny has never ever made one before. It is his first ever. But nobody told him that he couldn't put 